Okay, what's up everyone? What's up Lego Con Saturday 26th of June? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Awesome. Okay, let me just engage the camera. Production team is ready, I think. Hopefully so. Let's -a go. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. Pre-show is started. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. I think we, we gotta we gotta take a look at the actual website. I thought they would start later, but let's see. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm kind of excited. I got my coffee. So I guess that's like extra bricks and coffee this week. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Big hype. Let's see. Oh, I think you can play. I'm gonna kill the music, but uh, so far it's just uh, a welcome screen. All right. I gotta... I gotta take a look at all my setup here. Hello, hello. I'm gonna say my welcomes in a sec. Everything is working. Let me know, guys, if the stream is working as always. Because last week we had like this weird um, sound driver an announcement, which I didn't hear. You guys heard it. But I think it works to this week, right? Let's get this party started. So far, there's just a welcome screen. Uh, there is nothing happening, I think. Okay, I gotta I gotta get my headphones a bit louder. Hold on. Yeah, I think we're gonna kill the music for the con. We'll see how it goes. You know, we're gonna wanna hear the sound and all. Right? Okay, I had to like engage my headphones. Perfect. Sounds good to me. Hello there. Hello. All good to go. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. A little quick uh, um, you know, technical check with my audience. Nice. So let me just see, I can share probably my screen. Mm. Yeah, it's just like that. There's nothing there yet. Uh, ask questions. You guys can ask questions on there. So yeah, it's just... Uh, it's on! They say that it's gonna be a pre-show, but we'll see. I mean, I'm ready. I got my con shirt, not that con, but comic con. You know, so I'm ready. What are you most excited to see at LegoCon 2021? What are you guys are most excited to see? New sets! Yeah, duh, duh. Submit. Easy. Easy. Thank you for your vote, I appreciate it. Love and claps, we can do some loves and 
claps and oh do they, everybody sees that can we spam that well that's something to wait to <laughs> use while waiting yo lego con all right i'm gonna say my my, my hellos oh that's my screen sorry that's my audio settings you didn't see anything um yeah the, it's it's floating uh, the rumor is floating it's the gunship uh probably it is we'll see but apparently there are some pictures probably land members have seen the pictures most likely all right who's in the chat lots of you wow welcome to the saturday stream unusual huh i'm gonna start from the top shan technic bricks jackson uh disher jacob Nayley, clone commander george lou welcome harrison scory member uh, Nicoletta, welcome, Brick Star Wars boy, Bricks Studio, welcome, Daniel, Ferrari, Southern Pacific, morning, Tobias, hello, uh, let's see, Broston, Ethan, Nathan, Bricks, Brick Star Wars boy, of course, once again, he's always here, Twinception Productions, welcome, uh, yeah, 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 uh, yo, 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 you guys were chatting nicely, nice, I'm just scrolling through the chat, uh, hello, Giko7, welcome, Isis Productions, Wyatt Green, uh, PhD Bricks, hello, hello, let's get this party started, shall we? Bam, bam, I'm checking my screen, but it's not nothing there yet. Bam Bam Studios, Daniel, welcome. So many good people here, D Douglas O'Hara, Christian, Vitae Cześć, uh, Brickman's Den, Jelly Arts, uh, Isling, Isle welcome, Austin Struter, welcome. Hello, how are you guys doing today? Well, we're waiting. We're just waiting right now. Um, there is nothing there. I gotta switch between my desktops because I see my stream quality. It's all good. Seems like so. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is nothing there. You guys can see there is nothing happening. It just uh, can we even refresh or anything. Nope, it's we're still waiting. Uh, they say it's gonna be a pre-show. It says it's live. I don't think it's stream on YouTube. You know what? This is weird. Quality is automatic. Can it go? Yeah, 1080p is the highest quality. Uh, 1080p. Perfect. Um, you know what's weird? Uh, that uh, LEGO is not streaming this on YouTube. I mean, why? I mean, I get it that they can control, you know, the analytics and the numbers for the stream that way a bit more. But on YouTube, you have you can control the numbers as well. And you can reach so much more people on, on YouTube. They have like... Like, how big is LEGO's channel right now on YouTube? Like, give or take, a few million subscribers? How big is it? YouTube LEGO, YouTube, like official LEGO YouTube channel. How big is it? I think it's pretty big. Right? Well, yeah, all the, <laughs> I see my subscription, like everybody and their moms are streaming the LEGO con. Emma Zauros, Brixie is streaming. Probably a lot of other people too. Um, Lego? Their channel has like 12.6 million subscribers. <laughs> Why are they not streaming there? I mean, come on, Lego, it's 2021. You can have so many viewers. But on the other hand, that would take away from the viewers of the A4 community like us, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Hello, Callum. I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. I'm doing fine. Yeah, I, I did a little bit of... Uh, I was away from social media for a while now. But it's good. It's good for my, uh, my, my health overall. Like, yeah, I'm getting back with videos soon. Um, oh, the Cool Factor is streaming. Look at that. I typed Lego and Cool Factor shows up. This, this is crazy, actually. <laughs> That's kind of cool, if you ask me. Only 39 people watching. Hmm. That's kind of cool, if you ask me. You guys see that? <laughs> I'm right under Lego in search results. I wonder if that's only my browser, but there's Brixie too. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I'm just under like right under Lego streaming. All right, 49. It says 39 here. I didn't refresh though. 48. Wow. Thank you guys. I see it on my on my uh, YouTube panel, but yeah, here on the browser it says <laughs> I'm right under Lego. Like I'm official now. <laughs> I'm officially streaming with Lego. Oh, like under Lego, because Lego is not streaming. You made it! I'm o I'm over Brixie! <laughs> Yo, I made it! I'm, I'm, I'm like one, one position above Brixie. <laughs> wow! 
Mike should have more people watching. Hey, I wouldn't keep up with the chat, you know. If we, if we get another jang raid or something, um, that would be very difficult. But, alright, let's see the Lego con actually. Nothing happening yet. It is live. Nothing happening yet. You are most Lego of the Lego creators. Wow. Maybe because I came up earlier because I was expecting to have a pre-show. Like chat with you guys like that, right? But uh, Lego was saying there is a, a very special pre-show from our AFOL community. I wonder who, this, who that's going to be. Did they invite some AFOLs from LAN or maybe outside of LAN? Maybe one of my friends who kept it a secret and is going to be uh, a co-host for the pre-show of the Lego Con. We'll see. What are you guys most excited for? Come on, hit, hit me, chat. Um, the gunship, I, I think. You know what? If, it, if it's not the gunship, it's fine. If it's not the gunship, it's fine. I think uh, whatever they're gonna unveil, there is a Star Wars set coming today. Whatever it's gonna be, I'm gonna be happy about it. Um, the next thing, uh, I think I just wanna see like what's up with, with Minecraft, you know. Um, they said there is more set reveals than they kind of teased. There is more than that. 8080, you think, Aaron? Uh, one of those, I guess. Um, but I think the gunship is the most expected because apparently uh, there are some pictures circulating in some circles. Uh, circulating in circles. Um, and I, I think it's the closest to being ready because the gunship was announced some time ago. The LEGO Star Wars design team said that there's going to be a big... Uh, update this summer on the gunship. So that's it. I think that's it. I mean, we're in, you know, late June. Um, so I think that's that's it. 8080. I don't think it's gonna be the 8080. I think the 8080 will come out next week, next year. A new 18 plus car. They shown, you know, in the teaser, they shown that uh, life-size Bugatti Chiron. So maybe they're gonna show something new. Maybe. Um, Oh, they're gonna show that Ford 150 Raptor, probably, you know, because it, it kind of leaked. That's like the next large, it's not the one to eight large, like $300 scale. It's more like a, that Ferrari 488, um, kind of like more affordable 150 set, $150. DeLorean, probably DeLorean, that would be amazing. Oh my God, I can't wait for that. It's gonna be a creator set, most likely. Tumblr, maybe. Speaking of Minecraft sets, you should go check out Jang's this morning's review. He did a Minecraft, one of the new Minecraft sets review. Shout out to my good buddy Jang, who I never met, I wish. Ice scale version of a backend or Big Lord of the Ring location? Wow. I wonder, like, are we gonna get surprised? Is, you know, is the Star Wars set kind of like a, like a smoke screen for something bigger? Oh, that would be nice. UCS, not ice. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. UCS scale version, I feel ya. Yeah. Mandalorian sets technically have not been revealed. Technically? Yeah. Wait. They kind of were, I think. They, can't you pre-order? I mean, they were. Um, land members have the... Uh, the uh, Mandalorian Starfighter. The uh, reviews are out. Uh, Brickwiz and uh, Solid Brick Studios. Um, I think, yeah, they, they, they got the reviews out. The Bad Bad Shuttle is obviously like old news, right? Wh wh where's your, where's the pre-show? Anybody sees anything? No, it's it's still like in the wait, wait zone. What time is it? It's 8.44, 15 minutes, guys. Nice. Skywalker Saga, yeah, we should get some news, right? They skipped E3. That's, that's not cool. That's not cool. I'm gonna switch to this screen because we're just waiting. We just waiting. We just waiting. I'm gonna. Do you guys have your coffee? Um, I'm still. I think I'm still doing bricks and coffee tomorrow. This is just an extra stream. I really want to get back to making videos. However, like there is a, there is a whole lot, whole lot of things I have to do before I I get back to fully making videos. Mostly live stuff, but yeah. Are you sure the site is in front? Let me refresh. I'm gonna refresh just in case it's not frozen. Refresh. Nope. That's music from the LEGO Con stream. I 
we might get some copyright claims <laughs> probably um, while streaming this I hope I you, you guys remember when I had my stream shut down in the middle of the stream because I some bot like blocked me for music which I owned um, I, I hope that we can stream the Lego con with audio I mean we can probably but I'm, I'm expecting to get some claims on this stream so it's not gonna be probably it's not gonna be monetized after or anything but if you guys want a super chat, you're more than welcome. <laughs> um, someone helped me start the Lord of the Rings Return of the King partition. Mike helped me, Tobias helped me. Bring back Lord of the Rings. That's a, such a large IP, I think Lego, if there's something coming, they already probably have it planned. Um, there's, you know, uh, Amazon or Net who's making some, some shows in the Lothr world. I think there's some shows coming from Amazon. So maybe that's what, when that's happened, you know, that's too big of a, you know, that's too big of an IP for some, for fans to convince LEGO to do. If there's something in the works, there's something in the works. If there's nothing, there, well, we don't have much power here, unfortunately. Uh, if it's such a big event, they have to have something big in the end, hopefully. I, I would like them to do something like, um, like Elon Musk does, like, oh, by the way, one more thing, we have this new car coming or something, you know. Or, or uh, you know, uh, late Steve Jobs. He used to have presentations like, like the whole event would uh, would end. And even Tim Cook was doing that like uh, for Apple right now. The whole event ends and everybody got their news. And at the end, oh, by the way, there is an iPhone 15. <laughs> and, and goodbye, you know, so, something like that. Um, Amazon, okay. Let's give it a go. We can. Uh, it's it's still nothing's happening. Probably they have they should hire me for her, their stream troubleshooting. That's that's what what should happen. <laughs> I streamed the corporate events, okay? I know how to do it. Gandalf African apparently. Indiana Jones might also come back. Yes, because there is a new movie. Yeah. With well, kind of old Harrison Ford. Yeah. Yo, my bricks and me, welcome. Hello. Oh, really, guys? Thank you. Thanks so much, Mike, for this watch party. I'm super hype on this Lego con. Hope it will be good. Underscore TCF colon underscore ghoul hype. Underscore underscore whatever he said. Thank you, Nathan Briggs, for 250. Philip, uh, is that uh, pesos? Yes, I think so. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, he, he read my, my icons, um, <laughs> emojis, codes, TCF, cool hype. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, we're waiting, Jonathan. We're just waiting. Um, it's, it's still in the phase of waiting. <laughs> I mean, I can refresh the page. There we go. Oh, just music. I'm going to kill the music for now. Thank you so much, Nathan Briggs, for the support. Appreciate it. Julius, welcome. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, but where's the pre-show? Is is the pre-show pre-show part of the, you know, the one hour thirty minutes runtime? If, if it's so, whatever. Like it's fine. But usually pre-show means that they do something before the start time, you know, like a red carpet or whatever. I sent you Lego build instructions for a Tesla on your Instagram. I saw that, thank you. Uh, there's a guy that built kind of speed champions or city scale Teslas. That, those are nice, thank you. Yeah, I saw that. Pretty cool. Using jamming, yeah. They said it's 90 minutes, yeah. That's, that's what I heard. I, c I can vote again? Lego, this is not, this is not, like we can abuse the vote system here. Like you, you guys see that? I can vote again. <laughs> More set reviews. Ooh, I'm cheating. Ooh, Mike's cheating. Ooh, I voted twice. <laughs> well, that's their, that's on their part. That 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 poll has no value. <laughs> um, do you own a Nintendo Switch? I do not. I wish I I, I would have one. I wanted to buy one some time ago, but I kind of skipped. My, my most of my gaming right now I do on PS4 still old legacy PS4 not even a pro 
I was playing uh, Battlefield 5 yesterday because they gave Battlefield 5 on PlayStation Plus. And I was playing the campaign just randomly, just, you know, for casual fun. And, uh, and my PS4 is loud when you play those like higher graphics games, just like about to take off or something. No, I'm not gonna get a Pro. I, I don't think you can even buy a Pro right now. I'm just gonna get a PS5 when they are like available, when you can just come into the store and buy one. Then I'm gonna get a PS5. But my most gaming is PS4 now and Stadia, Google Stadia. It's just fun. I just finished, by the way, I, I just maxed uh, Jedi uh, Fallen Order. Finished uh, before the weekend. Such a fun game. Wow, it's such a cool game. 100% everything. Yeah. Played great on Stadia, I can I can assure. Oh, and thank you guys, I did post that Stadia link uh, for you guys to get some freebies, like a month free. I got 50% off code for a Stadia controller. And I, I ordered this, it's coming, uh, I think tomorrow or, no, next, next Tuesday. Sorry, next Tuesday, thank you. Yeah, you guys signed up and I was able to, to use a code for a 50% off pretty cool Stadia controller, so thank you. PS4 is louder than a normal PS4, really? Did you see my message on Instagram? I, I believe I did not yet. I'll check. Boba Slave 1. There is a Slave 1 that was kind of shown in the catalog. Um, yes, it's a, it's a Slave 1 from Mandalorian. The, that version. And has Boba Fett and, um, and the Mandalorian. Wait a bit to get a PS5 because the controller has a drift, really. Is, is this like a common issue? Well, that's interesting. Still waiting, guys. Still waiting. We're just having fun chatting. I share an image of what I got on Discord. Go for it. My budget is low, but I think the set I'm getting next is the Everyone is Awesome set. Yeah, guys, I haven't been buying LEGO for the last month at all. Saving up a bit, you know, for the big ones, like the gunship probably, and... Um, yeah. I didn't buy anything from the last waves. Yeah, so I'm saving up for for the big ones down the down the line. Flooring and ceiling is done. Hung the doors. I have the trim. Excuse me. Uh, to paint and install. Almost there. John, big hype. John is building his his man cave. His Lego cave. <laughs> That's awesome. Big one. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm always jelly of like people having, you know, proper Lego caves. Because I, I only have this studio, which is a lot for me because it's a huge upgrade, but it's it's not like it's not a proper Lego room because there's no much, that much space here, but you know. But yeah. Uh, good luck with everything, John. I hope it's gonna get finished nicely. Yeah, the phone is such a cool game. If you guys have Stadia, whoever signed up from my link to Stadia Pro. You guys should have a free month of Stadia. That's more than enough to finish that I order. And you can play it on, on Stadia with a pro account. It's uh, the Stadia Pro is like you get you get games for free, like on PlayStation Plus every month. And you can keep them. Hey, wh whoever was that? Thank you for subbing, Christian. Um, and you can play Jedi Fallen Order for if you have a pro subscription. That's how, exactly how I played it. It's really play, plays very well on Stadia, I gotta admit. Finish the whole game, 100%, all planets, everything. Pretty cool game, I love it. Love, love the combat system, really, the, the melee combat system, one of the best I've played. When it comes to like parrying and moves and simplicity of control, it's just like a few moves, but such a cool combos you can, you can, uh, you know, create. Very well done when it comes to melee combat. Can I, can, would, you, would I be willing to look at Discord? Sure, I think I have Discord open. Share your content. Uh, General? Uh, what did you post? Which, 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 uh, which room did you post? I don't see anything. Any new pictures? I see a really cool regular room from My Bricks and Me on Share Your Content. Uh, no. I don't see any new messages. Anyway. General? Oh, the puppy! Is that it? Oh. Hey! 
Thank you. Okay, how do I share that puppies on the other screen? Thank you, Bosk, for subbing. Most excited for that Star Wars set, whatever it is. 68 people watching. Wow. Seems like Saturday. 66 people. 60. Thank you, guys. Seems like Saturdays are good for streaming. Wow. How do I share that puppy? Can I? I think I can move it to my my main screen. Hold on. Let me see if I can move it. We got a Saturday puppy, everyone. Oh. Yo, that's from my Discord. Thanks, partial. <laughs> Oh, not this, sorry. Production, go back. Nobody saw that. This, this thing. Hey, oh, He's so cute. I should have like an oh sound. Puppies. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. The doggy. Yay. Nothing happening, guys. I'm checking. I'm checking. You guys see the same thing I do. Still music playing, just a pre-show. You guys have four minutes. You better start. UCS Jar Jar, yeah. Oh, he's so cute. Is that is that a new new addition to the family? Norma. Well, hello, Norma. Bo boop the nose for us, you know. Kiss the nosy. Have you played Zelda? I did not, Hardware Maker. Uh, that's what I wanted to get a Switch for, but I never got it for some reason. But when I get the Switch, I will play the Zelda and um, and probably the new one. There's a second Zelda coming, apparently. Uh, Mr. D Dinosaur Productions, welcome. Yeah, we'll be commenting. It's, it's live, dude. It's live. So we're, we're hanging out. We're chilling. I'm probably going to kill my own music for the con and, and go with their audio. And we're going to comment. And, and yes, you don't have to spam. <laughs> Yes, we'll be commenting. Dude. Chill. Out. <laughs> Chill. No need to spam, I see the message, okay. Um, oh, you got a new pet as well, what is it? Yep. Cheers, I got some fresh coffee. For sure. Will you get any of the older Atlantis sets? No, I'm not looking to get any older Lego, honestly, with may maybe very few exceptions. It's a kitten! Nice. Y yeah, we're on YouTube, yeah. <laughs> you're watching on YouTube, you're Dominic on YouTube. Where do you think we are? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're on YouTube. Less than an hour ago, oh, so it's a new, oh my god, that's so cute. Awesome, dude. Enjoy! All the pee on the, on the carpet. <laughs> But all the cuddles too, you know. Cute doggy, yay. I love dogs. I love cats. I love all the animals. I'm a bit allergic though to cats. Hmm. Ooh, coffee is good this morning. Hello, Josh. My dog turned one yesterday. Dogs are awesome. Yes, I was... Oh, sorry, I... I forgot, I'm sharing the screen. Yes, 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 yes. I sorry, like I, I switched to the host cam, my, my host cam when we're just waiting, when there's nothing happening. I'm refreshing. But there is nothing there yet. We're, we're waiting. Yeah, we're waiting. Sorry, sorry, like um, those questions were justified because I wasn't sharing my screen. We're, yes, we're streaming, we're commenting. Yes, 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 yes. I think we're gonna go full screen once it's ready. Yeah. It's live, you guys can see it's live indicator, there is nothing happening yet. I'm just, because I have a second vertical screen, I'm just like switching between my OBS to see if everything is good, and my chat, and my music, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Franco, welcome. Yeah, watch party! We're doing a watch party, yes. It's it's so much fun. This, this actually feels awesome, you know guys why? This, for me, this feels like the first lego event of any kind ever since this little ball with with antennas kind of shut down the world called a virus of corona and this is the first kind of public lego event ever since i know some of the events were coming back there are some actually in texas i think this in next month there is brick uh, brick fiesta virginia i think in july uh, I was about to go there actually and see, you know, the guys. I know Matt and David will be there, but I'm actually it's it's the beginning of July, the July the fourth weekend, 
I'm heading out camping <laughs> for like three days. So I'm having a vacay. But yeah, for me, this is the first kind of like, it's live, it's live. Wait, no, refresh. Nope, still wait, screen. Still wait, screen for me, you guys can see. I'm refreshing. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna kill my own music. Whoa! You turn right, whoa. Yeah, that, that's the stream. Okay, I'm gonna kill my own music. If you don't love me now, you gonna love me tomorrow. Didn't plan that. You're gonna love me, you're gonna love me, you're gonna love me. You're gonna love me, you're gonna love me, you're gonna love me. You're gonna love me, you're gonna love me, you're gonna love me. You're gonna love me, you're gonna love me, you're gonna love me. Copyright claim. Oh my god, they have the llama. I'm gonna get so copyright claimed. How awesome was that? I mean, I didn't even think I could get more excited, but somehow I'm more excited. My friend, my name is Adam Ward, and like you, That's I'm not... a huge fan of Lego Build, and I'm so excited oh, you're good? to welcome you to the first ever Lego Con, which of course is short for Lego Confetti. Here we go. I'm, I'm actually being told now that it's short for Lego Convention. Ha, ha. Makes a lot more sense. The first ever <laughs> Lego Con, live from Lego House, will start soon. <laughs> Joke. Both, Michelle and Melvin are thrilled to welcome you. Share your reactions during the show using emojis on your webpage starting now. I shall. You can also share your questions. Michelle and Melvin cool. will tell you when. And you can even vote in live polls. And the first poll is live on your screen, like right now. What are you most That's excited me. to see at LegoCon? Lego House, new set reveals, Q&A with designers, big builds? I mean, they all sound great to me. Enjoying the conversation online throughout the show using the LegoCon hashtag. Well, since this show is for all ages, there's no better way to kick off the final countdown than by celebrating the AFOL community. Adult fans of Lego. That's me, that's me, that's you guys. We've got amazing creators stopping by to share their top tips and tricks with us. How cool is that? Answer, so cool. First up is Kevin Ulrich, a stop motion animating genius. There are so many one by ones just all over the place. Yeah, dude, you just messed Let it up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kevin Ulrich and Hello. I'm a stop motion animator and I've been working as an independent oh, this guy's contractor good. for the Lego group for almost eight years 20 now. minutes! One of my earliest memories was going to the toy store and oh, picking boy. up a classic pirate set with my dad. I was a military kid, which meant that I moved every two to three years, and building was one of the few constants in my life. One of the things I love most is its ability to immerse my imagination in a faraway place. When I'm building a pirate ship, or a medieval castle, or a spaceship, I feel like through my imagination, I'm living in that world with the minifigs and with those characters. And I always wanted to bring other people with me through this imaginative journey to this faraway and fantastical place. And that's why I became a brick filmer. Stop motion is one of the easiest types of filmmaking to get started in. Take a He's frame, gonna work at Lego one day, you'll see. Take your frame, do that a thousand times, and voila! You have a one minute video of your characters coming to life. But while it's incredibly easy to get started, it's incredibly difficult to master. Hello, guys. My biggest advice to anyone Five, wanting to get started in stop Jesus. motion animation is use the resources you have rather than worrying about getting the proper resources. For my first three years as an animator, I was shooting on DV tape and then recording sound on an audio cassette and then linking the two together with an analog VCR and anyone under 20 probably had absolutely no clue what I just said. That's how rough that technology was. It's nothing compared to the resources you have today. If you have access to a smartphone, you're miles ahead of where I started. Download a free app, set up your characters, and start taking one frame at a time. You'll learn a lot very quickly, like how to secure your camera, how to block out the window so the lighting doesn't keep shifting, oh, and you'll keep getting better from there. Don't worry about making it perfect, because it won't be. Learn to lose yourself Listen to in the this joy guy. of bringing inanimate objects to life. Stop being perfect. I was 11 years old when I first picked up a handy cam, and 21 years later, I'm doing kind of the same thing, just a lot better. 
It was 14 years before I actually started a YouTube channel and started posting my content online. A couple months later, I was contacted by the LEGO group and asked if I'd be interested in doing some jobs for them. And I've been a professional stop motion animator ever since. One of the key things oh, that so makes a video already. engaging Oops. is having your characters feel relatable. They're just inanimate objects, but through you as the animator, you are acting with the character and you are creating emotions that the audience can then relate to. Try to imagine yourself as each character. Think through what are they feeling? What are they thinking? And the amount of work that goes into to convey this. that to the audience. Maybe if they're angry, they shake for a second. Maybe if they're fearful, <laughs> Thanks, have them cower a little. Things like See, that just minutes. really connect the audience the pre-show, to the character and Together. makes the inanimate yeah. object feel like it's really alive. That's what I love most about stop motion animation. It's creating a world for viewers to escape from reality and just believe in this fun fantasy setting and then come back to real life feeling a little more joyful and a little more refreshed. And that is the joy of creation. So, Kevin, you're amazing. I love the way that he got his start making movies with just whatever he had lying around. That is inspiring. And the way he conveys emotion from his characters with just a look or a little move. Like this guy, he's excited or absolutely It's a good day for terrifying. like a con, come okay, on, right? Well, I'm excited because we are just moments away from the live show. Up next is Enos Vasquez, already. a scientific botanical builder. Try saying that five times fast. No, it's scientific a cool showcase though. Builder. Scientific botanical builder. Maybe scientific I can find some builder. new people scientific I didn't know about. Builder. Scientific botanical builder. Scientific botanical builder. Scientific botanical Nailed it. Yeah, you did. Hi, <laughs> I am Ines. I'm an A fall from Manila and I build Philippine flowers. Oh, those are beautiful. I'm a biology major and I spent a lot of time studying plant taxonomy. Thank you for people watching. Thank you very, very much, everyone. I love you. Specimens, drawing I'm them, the buttons, and but writing about their different characteristics. And it was something that I really enjoyed. And when I started building, I thought of it oh, as a biology major. That Thank I you would for try to make my build as accurate as possible Sabin, Sarah, because I thought of myself more as a scientist Hello to gaming. rather than as a Lego artist. I started building the flowers because oh, I she must love the botanical collection, am I right? <laughs> biodiversity. And I was so surprised at how much people enjoyed them. I even sent photos of Rafflesia no, do not super to my <laughs> professor, Dr. Barcelona, We're being very because professionally she was on the team that accommodating had for the, the presenters and, and the showcase. And she really, really liked it. So, we're so trying that to encouraged be me here. to build okay. more. But making accurate hmm. flowers is very difficult. Oh, wow. I have to balance I mean, we can the do our wows, accuracy right? versus the entire look of the flower and hey, use my creativity. The most difficult part is choosing which gaming, parts thank you. to use. For example, this for is Delenia Philippinensis or the Catmon. And for this build, I use. You got, if you guys want me to shut up, you can always watch up LegoCon slash LegoCon slash LegoCon. <laughs> it worked out. She now do, I tell you. But sometimes there are no available parts. It so I have suspense. to build it from scratch. For example, here. Uh, evergreen, no, it's just a pre show. Uh, we're starting, you can see the timer on the screen. Build, They're starting in 15 the minutes. Most the whole main event. Time building the central part. She's, she's or pretty the talented, I would say. Finally, I decided to use these mm. parts. So I Ooh, used I'm all a giddy and excited. And the for all the reveals so and all that. in building Lego. the flowers, Do not I have had to be creative. Harrison, Someone welcome. recently told me that there is art Who would and want science for you to shut up? and Maybe to science to the lady? and art. <laughs> and that's how I started thinking of my building. Four it's a minutes. balance of both science Tick and tuck. art. I built three you, more flowers and brought them to the Japan Breakfast. And I can still remember how happy the children were whenever they would look at the flowers. They would smile and point it out to their parents. And seeing them, I was so happy to be able to tell them that these are flowers from the Philippines. And I realized that this is what I want to do. I want to build things that would show children how beautiful my country is and how beautiful 4, the world is. 4,000 people watching MNR. Wow. There. <laughs> live stream. Wow, Inez, are you serious? Those flowers yeah. are gorgeous. Such great. One thousand people usage, watching bricks. Such cool techniques. Wow. Everybody I love streaming. how proud she That's is awesome. of her heritage. And what an amazing way to share it with the world. People I want to go to the Philippines. I want to see flowers with super long names. Speaking of things I want to see, I am Why so not me? excited <laughs> for the live show. How about you? What are you hey, excited I got about? You guys, come on. No, tell me. Come on. Yes, talk to your screen. 
No way! No way! <laughs> now let's meet a Can couple I talk to of my screen, yo. masters of the mock. What's a mock? Well, okay. Richard Boyd and Flynn DeMarco are about to tell you. Oh, Flynn! Those are my friends! Lego Masters, guys! Hi, I'm Flynn. Hey! I'm Richard, and together know these we guys. are Tricky, Tricky Bricks. Bricks. We are so excited know these to guys. see all of you here today for Tricky LEGO Bricks. Con. We're sitting here with a Hello, mock hi. that we made ourselves. Mock is my own creation. That's different from a set. You Season know, one LEGO Masters. Yourself. One yeah, of the best ways that you can start building a mock is by building what you know. And we know theater. I, I kind of we knew they would theater. be here because they kind of teased um, the front so that, you that can they would be the part inside. of the LEGO Con. Theaters have a lot of stories to tell, and but ours is no so different. cool, right? And here, we use color to help tell our stories, like the hats and costumes in our costume room. And then downstairs in Tricky the theater, breaks. you can see that we've used the red theater seats, and of course, the classic red theater curtain. Yeah, 80, 80 plus up. people. Thank you guys Many so much. Are another great way over. to help you tell your story by using the different expressions. You can really I didn't, show. I mean, the I kind of knew, but here's a shot. I, in I, the I back wasn't of the theater. sure. And they didn't see the anything else. They just like we might the catwalk be part and of it. Our cast you know? of characters. Of course, the biggest story we had to tell was on the stage. So we made sure to use colors that we hadn't used anywhere else in the model, like pink, Lunch, light blue, done. and Hello. lime green. And that didn't see is there. the story of our theater. Now, if you're wondering how you can make a door on the front of your mock that opens up, well, you're going to want to use a hinge. This is the kind of hinge we used on the theater. It's called a plate hinge. It's two plates connected together at the corners that move like this. That's cool that it's they made, made kind of a like a... Uh, one by two plates. There's like a semi-educational video. This is one of our favorite kind it's really of cool that they kind it of has a ball provide some and a cup that value connects together. Either. And then both of these right? plates can move in any direction. It's very beneficial for people who want to build more. Like it for sure. moves all around lots of different ways. There's also this. I want to see how many people are watching. An like, index I hinge. And with an index hinge, wherever you move one side of your hinge, the brick stays yeah, these exactly are great. where They're, you want it. They are great. Universe. And it moves sort of like your elbow, just one way. They just you became can make your own hinge not that using a ago. clip and a bar. Put the well two deserved. together like this, and you have a working hinge. Another way we like to incorporate storytelling into our Lego models is with <laughs> we a show for we made a huge model. It was about four and it's, a, it's a show tall, for everyone, kind of like Treasure it's not, of the Snake Queen. It's about a they're doing an Eiffel showcase, but I think that con is for like imagine the amount of kids watching right now. Snake Queen at the end. And we incorporated probably like the whole families are watching right now. I should we be watching with my kids, but I'm streaming. <laughs> we use turntables to make things spin around, and we even use conveyor belts to move minifigures from one place to the next. Sometimes we have a simpler story to tell, and even just a little bit of movement is enough to really bring it to life. This is the story of us walking our dog Logan in the park. There's us as mini dolls right there. Hey, come on, it's just now, a pre show, Ethan. Relax. Thing about Logan is he really, <laughs> We're almost really likes there. To chase Ten minutes. So we thought Get that some we coffee. could tell that story I'm just chilling here. with the simple movement of Logan coffee, jumping up and down in the chat. next to the tree. You know, just like this. Good now stuff. you're probably wondering how we made that work. It's actually pretty simple. This is a crank. You can turn it round and round, and it makes this axle go up and down. An axle. The way this works is, this crank Show here was the turns sex. an axle, <laughs> Show was it has the a sex. cam on it, and a cam is like a wheel that's shaped like no, an egg. Techniques, so that's nice how we make do. this go up and down with a crank. To now that, you that. can see how you can use color, storytelling, and movement to really bring your LEGO models to life. Thanks Guys, I know we're for AFOS and we're a large we you part of the community. Time at Lego Con. Happy building! Happy building! Great huh? work, guys. So detailed. Well, there's so, so many kids fun. watching. I love adding movement to builds. And that treasure of the Snake Queen mod? Yeah, I wonder too, Raven. It was amazing! You know what else was amazing? Um, the LegoCon live show that's great for fans of all ages that's about to begin. See? See? He yep. said... He, but he's, first, uh, see? Let's meet Kat he said Harris, fans of all ages. an amazing way to stay connected with her family even when they're far apart. Who's it gonna be? I did that so the camera would have something to focus on, so I wouldn't be blurry. I do Hi, not know my name her. is Kat Harris. I am an AFOL, an adult fan of Lego from outside of Baltimore, Maryland in the United States. And That's I you? have been a fan of my entire life. I have an older brother what? and an older sister, and we really always enjoyed building together. Not much has changed That's from you guys? when we were a kid to today. The like bias? me, they're AFOLs, and we played together as kids, and we still enjoy the I'm hobby so... as adults. Is that your the right? only difference, really, is we live on opposite sides of the country, mouse? but with video calling Sorry. and today's technology,
technology that doesn't really stop us from enjoying our hobby together. We will know. work on collaborations anytime we have an opportunity. My brother and I made a cute little comic book where he built out oh, this I, nice I, little cityscape and he made these oh, little you mean the that were okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you were the And I took <laughs> pictures and we made a fun little comic to display <laughs> along with it. And then my sister like and I share an Instagram account and gotcha, we built gotcha, together gotcha. regularly <laughs> as well. So it's definitely a family hobby. We finally got my mom into it. So took the a few years, but we got her too. <laughs> We like, that's always me. Like, oh, check in on God. each other and share mocks and tips. And if we go to a convention, we time. always want to make sure to do a collaboration together. Eight it minutes. has definitely kept us closer together as siblings. I don't always go into a build with a concrete plan. I know generally the size I want, the type of structure, and the general look. Oh, but that being like... said, I often make multiple instances or Please versions of, of my different face. elements of the build. I do a lot of trial and error, which means I'm left with quite the scrapyard, as I call it. And I always try to keep those builds intact. Really, it's just a quick I way wonder to how they look at some of the connections I made. They reach out to like selected I just keep creators. a lot of random connections, what he's, even what if it's doing, not necessarily cool. used in the mock that I'm currently working on. I'm able to keep it, recycle Embrick's it, welcome. and it stays in the scrapyard for later. Unlike a lot of people, I do sort Lurking? my color sure thing. Thanks on for, a lot of for, things. For, uh, I, know, watching. I know, it's not very popular, yeah, we're gonna but see all the my new biggest stuff. tip we're gonna would comment be a bit. sort in a way that all works that. for you. Some people maybe just collect, some people love to Thanks build sets, some people love to build mocks. It's a very open hobby that is welcoming of all types of people from all over the world. Stream is yeah, working fine. That scrapyard idea is genius. Do you mind if I borrow 85 it? people watching. Thank you, I thank you, thank you. And the fact that your whole family thank is involved. Thank you. I mean, how great thank is that? You. Building with other people thank is one you. of my favorite things in the Thanks world. Thanks so much for I coming over, guys. Okay, my friend. I think that's one of the most watched streams I had. The closest we've ever been in the history of history to the first ever Lego Con. Can you believe it? And we have Can more tips and on their way. What a Can day. you believe it? Now it's time for Lego fan designer Donnie Chen, who gets inspired by what's around him. Yeah, I kind of knew that Ben and Richard would be here, but I wasn't sure. My name is Donny Chen, and I'm the fan designer of the Lego Grand Piano. I'm oh, piano that's why I know him. I was like, and I know this and guy. I've been playing this He's from the piano for set. over 30 years now. After building a couple of Lego official kits, I started making my Disney own Channel model of my own house using Lego bricks, trying to replicate all the furniture and details. I was like, I kind of rings the bell, right? He's a the house model rings the piano. <laughs> He's the piano guy. He's the designer families. of the piano. I think that gave me lots of Hello confidence before the break. to create a submission for the Lego Idea platform and see if you could become an official piano guy. product for everyone to good enjoy. Good set, bro. Very Lego good set. Ideas is such a Even though I do not have it. To share your creations and ideas with other Lego fans around the world. It's like between the piano. Now, right now and the typewriter and i would i think over the typewriter first and try to learn their building techniques and their concepts as well the community mm -hmm. is very friendly and supportive they always will give you very positive feedbacks on your model and try it's to it's really cool that they got them. the um, and ideas people to, to, more to show their ideas. story as a, I think it's a cool teacher, pre-show. I always get I mean, asked by my students right? how a piano works. But let's see the sets. I always want to see the sets. can be taken apart to show my students without actually. Please don't have the Star Wars set at the very end. At that moment, I was Thanks looking for at this mini in piano indicative. and thinking maybe I could just make it bigger I didn't and catch the with movable keys that can be <laughs> Thank passed you. down. And I think that indicative would be a really cool model to submit to the idea platform. So I think that's the initial idea. We have also Raymond subbing. Thank you so much. I started designing the piano on the computer with the keyboard section first. And yeah, he was on Beyond the Brick. They, uh, yes, Beyond the Brick has really good record of well. interviewing also the dampers not only the like Lego designers actually, but they, they reach out to uh, fan uh, Lego ideas people model. as well, Lego ideas fan designers. Quite a few times though. During I mean, process, every like usually on quarantine cast lately. Some yeah. good ideas, for example, sure Beyond the Brick it was always this kind of uh, like a hub in the community to, to talk to different clothes, people. So I tried, uh, to put and they were pretty good at it. Into the model as well. Thank you, the Dylan. The first time I played with Bricks was actually in my Dylan, friend's Dylan, house thank you. when I was in primary XD. school. He had 5541 hot set. Oh, that's a cool set. Very odd. I always try to draw inspiration from my daily life, and as I see an interesting object and I'll think about it, I can. 
can we create it with Lego bricks, including my friend uh, from the Lego store? His name is David. Uh, he still works there. He also designed his own piano, small, but much maybe smaller scale. Uh, and he did something to Lego ideas. Like a TV, a and fridge, it was funny when this sofa, came out. And he was like, oh man, I should have made a bigger one. And just start building with whatever. His piano was very good, but more like a desktop scale. All kind of different Lego elements. I think the possibility is. Sayo Connor, I saw you there before. I'm sorry I didn't say hi. You know how I know Donnie is brilliant. I'm so sorry. I did see you there. I just for some reason I didn't say hi. Amazing piano build since like the inventor of the piano. So welcome. Piano or whoever invented the piano. I don't know. Are you still involved with Beyond Beyond the Brick? Yes. Yes, I am. We're not like part ways or anything. Photographer extraordinary. It's just I'm not part of the quarantine cast anymore because I'm fully back to work. When they are streaming, I'm in the office. So no more I'm Anna Batanga, shifting hours four, four bricks tall, to, and I'm a Lego photographer. I to love join the, Lego the quarantine to me, cast. They are the perfect subjects. But yeah, I haven't been Before reviewing anything cheating, for them lately. I create a custom uh, character. Brian takes this everything. This is actually one of my favorite parts of Lego Brian takes all them I sets. I love going through <laughs> all my little drawers of torsos, heads, hair, and legs. But no, and like, like, yeah, we're still supposed to like, because you know, for me in good terms. There's subject. just not, not much That's for me to do. That's actually what really attracted me to Lego photography in the first place. I could create all of these little people and bring them to life. I was in invited by them to go to the Legoland and showcase the new Lego movie world. But also it collided with my I first started like, out, um, I would just take one my work thing, usually put it in my the pocket, right and have my phone it's, it's another kind of pocket. Sucks. It's all I needed back then to have fun with my Because uh, I would love, it was really like, just about when the events come back fully, like, I, I will definitely well go to some face. events with them. So I would just go to the park out. and look for little rocks or flowers or Junk is jelly? a favorite of many Lego photographers. Why? Moss. Moss is great because it's like minifig scale. That's pretty cool And when you're trying to show your minifigs in a small and natural world, it's hard to beat moss. Photograph is... Rocks work great as mountain ranges too. Or Am I going to get the gunship? Most likely, yes. Walking on a tree branch. It's hard for me to skip a UCS people. Star Wars you know. world. There are no rules. Okay, maybe. I, I expect them to be like 350 things. bucks. These days, I rarely shoot Team my Yellow fix for life. because I'm no longer looking for quick and easy. I want complicated and We'll see, like, I want to so see that gunship today. Hopefully it's the gunship. Studio. I love to work with lighting and atmospheric effects. You know, like, like let's not mist. hate on Lego I photography. I think on Instagram it's very prevalent. Right now, it's really. I'm into fantasy characters. There's a there huge so section on Instagram for art Lego photography, and there are like, some amazing people out there. Anna, those photographs are phenomenal. I never knew how cool Moss was. Why didn't anybody tell me? I'm so excited to take my mini figs out for a major <laughs> photo shoot. I'm not sure, Brickman. Uh, I, you know, it's hard for me to plan something for next year as I don't know what's gonna happen this year yet. Wow. But I'm gonna definitely make my go kind wild. of like you can go endeavor wilder. to go to more events you, you go if I can. Check out the main page. You're Hopefully, I can see a lot of you guys you like once I, you know, start if traveling again. English, German, French, Spanish. We got. I would love to be on more events for options, sure American and meet you guys. Or British Sign Language, the first ever official. Language Everyone is awesome. At some point, probably yeah. Seconds. My name is Adam Ward. It has been so fun. I I, I just hold off on now, any purchases lately. I I was just not buying any Lego in the June wave. But eventually, probably, yeah. Ooh, ooh, the countdown. Let's go. Live for the first time from Bill in Denmark, it's LegoCon 2021. The music slaps. Oh, some, some encoding there, you guys. There's a llama. Hello, and welcome to Lego Con. I'm Melvin O'Doom. And I'm Michelle Carre. Hello. And we are finally here, coming to you live from the Lego house. Their encoding is kind of off. Yes, for the next 90 minutes, this is I'm a place no to stream be, expert, I'm sorry. The online experience for Lego fans everywhere. And what do we have in store? We hear you wondering where Lego fans want to know more. That's right. Buckle up and prepare for a jam-packed live show. Guys, you're losing, you you're losing frames the on the stream. It's not me. Tons of entertainment, big reveals of My daughter approves of your dancing. Box fresh <laughs> Say hi. Stories, studio chats with real-life Lego designers and a never tried before global build event. Okay. So get ready to unleash your inner design skills. Now, I don't know about you, Michelle, but I've been getting a lot of building practice in over the last year while stuck at home. Yes, and on that note, I just want to say that everything created here today has been done so under the most strictest guidelines to keep us oh wow they're, they're losing connection LegoCon like did you guys see that experience for Lego that's fans not me everywhere and that includes us here in the studio and behind the camera right team yeah! and you your family and friends so make sure you join in the conversation 
And there are a lot of ways you can share your thoughts with us. You can take I like that they have the Discovery Shuttle uh, up front there. The one of the coolest sets right this year, for sure. We'll let you know each time a poll goes live, and you'll see them just below us. You might have to scroll down a little bit on your webpage. What? Yeah, you can submit questions to our guests using oh, questions, our Q&A okay. box, which is just also I'm below us it on full the homepage. Just scroll for down, the stream. type your questions into the box, and hit submit. Don't worry, we'll be reminding you about that. But you guys keep those questions, for sure. Also, you're going to see my personal favorite feature, our it doesn't matter how many so people are watching, it's just their up, upstream. Throughout the show. They lost packets, it's on their connection. Right now, Michelle. <laughs> it's, it's like on their side. Well, thank you, Melvin. Here's I know I think about right streaming events. <laughs> thank you very much. Can we do it? <laughs> and you can share your comments throughout the show on Twitter using the Lego Con hashtag. Do they see it? We'll be reading out <laughs> some of those as well. So yeah, we're going to be checking in with you the whole way through. Mm -hmm. And on that note, Melvin, I want to check in with you. Can you tell us a little bit about this epic global build? I don't know. Well, Michelle will be revealing all in about. You had hard time, how oh, interesting. I can say it's going to be a pretty special opportunity for you at home. We'll most likely crash, camera, like every Lego, Lego VIP Lego release. <laughs> I think it's fair to say we're all going to be signing up for that. But first, it's time to introduce you guys to a rather special guest. Yes, it's our resident DJ and producer. Give it up Lomo. for AM. <laughs> the llama somewhere <laughs> <laughs> now i have to say as a fellow dj myself i'm i'm getting so copyright claim for this your decks. are they made completely out of lego bricks yeah so can i get a go of these at the after party is that all right oh please okay cool 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 well i need the decks whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. the packet's lost adding some Come music on. of my own Michelle, you can't leave it there. There's only so much I'm sorry, after I Apple take. events we'll that were live, Melvin, I'm promise. a bit biased because they had so good quality. But first, this has always held a special place in the hearts of so many LEGO fans. So what better way to celebrate our passion for space builds than with Lama, a you're real cool, but I don't like LEGO designer <laughs> who has worked on some of these incredible sets. Give it up for George, everybody. Oh, hello. hello. George, thank you so much for being no here. No problem. I love your wardrobe, by the way, it matches the space, theme. Yeah. And first of cool all, shirt. I want thank that. you for being here. You have a dream job. It seems so cool. We have so all many the awesome spaces space on the sets tables. out here right now. Wow. Let's just dive in. Tell me about this first yeah. one. Yeah. So what we got right here oh. is the brand new NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. Dude, love this one. Which we've created and launched this April mm -hmm. to celebrate 40 years of the Space Shuttle Is this program. a sales event? Oh gosh, that is incredible. And do you guys have any extra special features for is this a 90 minute fans? lego video oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just a llama this is the biggest version of this Being we've ever DJ, created which means we've, been, we've managed to put Fair in enough, right? all of the features you'd expect we've got the landing gear we we know the set Ooh. like i reviewed we've it guys doors, just watch my review okay move on and even new sets come on star wars like the little cameras inside the bay so the astronauts can see what's going I'm, on. I'm so, That's yeah, so I, I'm not going to buy a second one, dude. <laughs> it's not just what you see on the outside. There's always so many fun details on the inside. And when I was walking over here, I noticed this one's the ISS. No, right? it's oh, live. Yeah. It is live. So tell me about Definitely that. It's live. So this it's one's come about because of the Lego Ideas program where fans can submit an idea for a Lego product. And if it achieves 10,000 votes, it has the opportunity to become a real Lego product. That is so incredible. And I know we're going to be talking a bit about Lego ideas. Yeah, later, but I think for it's me, so I cool see how fans can. I see Just the Good, Brick Foundation, MNR, Emazaurus, so Brixie. So I want to talk a bit more I about the process though. for creating. Yeah, a lot of people streaming. Amazing, amazing sets. Because when you create. But thank you guys, like 85 that, of you, for joining of, me. Um, the fictional thank you. Properties, let's Appreciate say. That's it. One thing. Doesn't equal but to 4,000 viewers on MNR, but. Real life spaceships. You know. Yeah. How does that work? So what was super special with the ISS doing oh, thank this you. <laughs> is that we got to <laughs> get the much. reference from all of the different space agencies. 5,000 people watching that helped create wow. it. And we've spoke to the real life engineers who were sending the ISS somebody left. in Oops. space. And then we've translated that experience into building the ISS physically out of bricks. The commitment well, they're to losing the packets hard. is so incredible. And I want to ask you some questions about this one too, because this one seems to be the most complex build out of. Uh, you know, all Ethan, the like events like this can so be a bit boring. I'm not gonna lie. I've been to Comic Con panels that kind of are lengthy, and you just like ISS, oh, zone off. Space it's it's the usual the when it comes to you know panels. It's a panel, basically, it's a giant Lego panel. Um, oh gosh, it's hard to have. Awesome. Uh, 
super entertaining live event. It's it's hard. Yeah, it's not easy. Is, yeah. So if yeah, I expect oh, here to be longer periods of, of talking and, and whatever. Like that's the usual. So I'm kind of prepared uh, for this. Comic Con, you know, even Comic Con is cool as a whole event. Oh, they wow. are like so parts of right Comic Con, for example. The oh the yeah, that's like the city set. Um, there are parts of Comic Con that feel like kind like of the launch of the dragging long and all that. Four, so just three, get used to it, I guess. Two, one. And the rocket takes off. There are subtitles in oh the language God, menu. That's incredible. Oh, really? That is amazing. You think it's pre-recorded? I love that you guys integrate and update the, the products so often to make them really so relevant. So that's even worse today. if that's pre-recorded so and they are losing like packets these, on just uploading the, the video. Do you with NASA to make sure they're as true to the real world as possible? Absolutely. The Lego Group and NASA have collaborated Tighter with Tighter need cool fan fan with than 2,000 viewers. We sure work thing, closely yeah. with them to ensure that we get all of the details correct. Something like the ISS. Uh, that's developed over a few years. The coffee table is and cool, right? I want that coffee table. Coming back to year after year. And by working closely with them, yeah, we can make sure Comic Con can like be like hit or miss when it comes to which programming you're choosing. Year or mission. This one's uh, this usually for me, Comic Con, excuse me, <clears throat> for me, Comic Con was usually just every single detail walking like on the floor and checking out the booths. Like that's like 80% of the fun. Some panels, that's some amazing. highlight so panels. A real life yes, look at this, but a lot of Comic Con is just for very specific well, groups of fans, niche groups that are interested in particular topics. And for many people, it's going to be boring. Actually, How appropriate. That's true. Please welcome former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino. Hello. Mike! Welcome, welcome, Mike. I can't believe someone as busy as you has time for us. I today. think it's Thank live you live. So much for joining and for being a part of this. Because she has like so all the audio I'm set up. I'm personally a huge fan of big adrenaline packed challenges. Then like the, the so ISS build. I was build. pretty jealous it's when I saw model, that though. you got to build a real Lego lunar lander in zero gravity. What was that like? Because oh, it's pretty awesome. Thanks for having me, Michelle. Thanks for having me, and thanks. For and for the, me, Comic Con is about standing in the line so for that Lego figure. <laughs> that, that we can like five hours with, or so. That's Comic Con. Brings back a lot of memories. Right there, in the Doing nutshell. Doing that zero gravity uh, lunar lander project was two years ago, and I love playing, uh, working, and building Legos on Earth and with my kids and with my friends. Yeah, this part of like, like just starting off with uh, space talk. Yeah. But a whole heck of a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Well, I think we all want to see cool it. Have an yeah? right? Let's see it. So let's see a recap. Whoa. Dude, the packet loss. Oh, that's cool. Hey, come on. That's cool. Oh my gosh. That, that looked like That's so cool. Zero G Lego sets. With gravity, I already have trouble keeping track of all of my Lego pieces. So um, that was pretty incredible. So earlier we were talking about the Artemis mission. And Mike, obviously you're someone who's super- You guys seeing those packets as well, but like going we crazy? Details, let's it's check just out just a me. sneak peek. I think it's just the bandwidth. 50 years ago, NASA went to the moon. They called it Apollo. What many people don't know is that Apollo had a twin. She was a woman named Artemis. Yeah, you see it? Of okay. the moon. So it's not me. I was like, is that me? It's not my they stream, maybe my bandwidth or something. Because I'm streaming and watching and streaming. This time to stay. Okay, so it's it's, it's just on their prepare. side. To achieve humanity's next giant leap of it's not like bad, bad quality, but it could be better. Like, Mars. again, have you guys seen the Apple events this year? <laughs> yeah. Like top-notch production. Mean... Wow, that's crazy! But I think it's the first well, kind Mike, of this what thing for Lego, this so they're gonna improve. Lego, it's hire me. I know how to do this stuff, thing. Michelle, uh, it's the, NASA's next big project uh, to bring people back to the moon, SLS, but this time to Artemis. stay and explore more than we did 50 years ago, and then use that as a precursor to learn about what it's like to be on the moon. Mansion uh, SpaceX. Mansion in, in SpaceX. Mansion SpaceX. To Mars. So it's not just about going to the moon. It's Starship. about eventually getting to Mars. That is incredible. And a question I think we're all That's a good point, Aaron. Where are the astronauts going to live? It's mostly, there? guys, it's mostly for the kids. It's not for us. Yeah, really. it's kind of interesting the way they planned if it out. They're uh, going to be building a, what they call the Lunar Gateway. So it's going to be uh, 
something like a habitat uh, experimental module space station. I but feel it's like people who are hosting this stream are faking it. Around the moon. Like every so presenter it's be ever. A place <laughs> that you can launch from Earth Maybe except for me. To, I'm super generous. Stay on that gateway for a while. And then go down Man, to the moon space. for different expeditions, different missions on the moon. Hey, and then come back I gotta to promote my cult, okay? Back home to, to Earth. So they're gonna be e living e uh, for uh, a lot of it on the moon. But they're always gonna be oh, bye. I'm losing viewers. Be available for astronauts to do research, okay, fine. to learn, and to I use as not. kind of a place to go in between <laughs> Earth and moon. That is well, incredible. when you're when you're in a cult, you gotta promote the cult. That's how the cult lives on, right? You gotta yeah, keep we going. We haven't been back to the moon for we haven't been to the moon for fifty years, and those are just short visits. We're gonna be Starship is there. mentioned the mega. But uh, the the uh, what's up with Mattel doing the the cyber truck? Okay, ago. we're gonna talk it about it later. All, Maybe tomorrow uh, on bricks and uh, coffee. Mainly military test pilots, one geologist that went, but they were all men that went back then. The space program has changed an awful lot. And I think a lot of that has to do with Lego because it's gotten both young boys and girls interested in, in engineering and science space and what we see as a result of that the last astronaut no, overall just example, private companies doing have, space have exploration have now, right so that's the big change what, what artemis Someone will do SpaceX is not only get us back to the moon, but get the first woman to the moon and the Rocket first people Lab. of color to the moon so i, I think that is also very historical because we're going to do these great things in space we need everyone that's how we'll be the next disney that's so incredible you mean like I, buying I'm all so the automakers excited for this and what will the crew do when they get there? Uh, they're going to be uh, busy and uh, I think having a great time, of course. Uh, you know, that well, person I used to be a huge fan of the, what he's actually doing. I'm, I'm not like a super moon, Elon fanboy. I, I don't agree with a lot of what he's doing. Be learning how to but I'm looking at the results of his work too. For long periods of time. The space but yeah, I do agree a that time. 21 years we've been having, he got some questionable actions in the past. Switch in and, and out from time to time, to. but we've learned how to live for a long periods kind of, of time weird, in dude, zero overall. gravity. That's different than being on a planetary surface and dealing with a little bit of gravity, dealing with rocks and dust and things like that uh, that we're going to have to deal with when we go to Mars. So they're going to be learning about the moon. They're going to be learning about experiments around the moon, but they're also going to be learning how to get people to Mars and be able to live there as well. That is incredible. Can you guys imagine? Oh my gosh. Well, in our lifetimes, we're going to be probably go, seeing a crude base world. on Mars. Let's say a That's huge insane. thank you to our guests for think joining. Everyone, give it up for Mike George. Yo. <laughs> sure. Well, now I've got some building okay. of my own to do, so I'm going to throw it over to Melvin. What's happening with you, Melvin? What's up, Melvin? Uh, right here, Michelle, and nothing's happening yet, but that's about to change. Show the sets. Time. Now, we Show the sets. Show the never tried Show before a live sets. build. And that's exactly what you're going to get starting now. So you see this wall, it stretches all the way between the red and yellow. I want to go to the Lego house, house so huge. badly. Well, Lego fans together, Such a we're going to turn it into one of the biggest pieces of Lego Dots art created to date. Now, Melanie, you're the play hero here at Lego House. Mm -hmm. Dream job, by the way. What's Guys, the show the hats. Well, Melvin, we are inviting our Lego Con audience mm -hmm. to launch this new epic build um, here from Lego House. We call it Dot. Lego house. Love the name. Yeah. Gee, Lego uh, dots. Starting wow, from how exciting. This moment, mm -hmm. I'm running for the summer. Oh, up, 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 um, up, up, up. Fans, up, up. So that's you, me, <laughs> and really everybody. Connection have the guy fix it. To build this giant <laughs> Lego dot mural uh, 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 together, and it will live here in Home <laughs> of the Brick. Uh, so many questions. First of all, uh, I, why I should stop are mocking their production team, should I? Okay. We chosen Lego dots because dots is all about making. Uh, things uh, uh, free. Uh, uh, designs and patterns and we think it will make a, a really striking installation here in lego house for our future guests to see all right i'm in but how do we do this we're going to do as the shirt is cool yeah can. right so you see those shirts they have we'll make our own design lego on a six i don't know six start selling these shirts or something and then every single design our mural will then grow <laughs> until we have filled this wall with forty one thousand four hundred and eight of these little fellers. Wow, that's a lot. Wow. Okay, important question now. I'm seeing a lot of red, white, and blue. Amy is there? Yeah. I met Amy. That is a really good She's question. She's the friend's lead. Because by the end of the summer, our She's aim there? is I didn't to see have it. Uh, created a huge Camera, gradient going from red, from here. Oh, she's there. She's in the, the jeans jacket. 
So, She's like, and today we will be kicking it off. Yeah, that's with Amy the red from so Lego Friends. All the signs submitted. Yeah, I met her. I did interview her for Beyond the Brick for Lego Master Season One. Okay, well this is her and Jamie. Epic, and we want you all to become part of Lego Yeah, she's House right there. She's uh, behind this build. So make sure you submit your designs wherever you are in the world by going to legohouse.com forward slash dot. Uh, uh, whether uh, or not uh, you currently own Lego uh, dots tiles. Uh, uh, if you do already have a six by six out, one uh, yeah. of your sets and the right dots colors, then you can build your piece and take a photo. If you don't, then you can draw your piece and take a photo. You know what? Photo. That might be pre-recorded because they're doing the lower thirds like have perfect timing, like they were edited. But that can be live too, I mean. Following the simple steps online at legohouse.com forward slash dots. Now, along with your design, your name will be immortalized in a digital plaque right here. Robert, welcome. We've moved back see. from play agents, uni Johanna recently, Dresta currently building the night bus while watching. Thanks for watching and enjoy the build. They come in. Guys, are you warmed up? Welcome to the stream. Ready to go? Totally. totally. You need to oh, there's Amy. Yeah, yeah she's right there. Okay, she's in the jeans. Uh, you hurt <laughs> are you guys ready <laughs> to get cool. creative? Okay, well, joining us right now is Amy, a Lego designer here yeah, in Berlin and a fellow member of the Lego Masters team as a judge on the US TV show. Please She designed my daughter's favorite set, so. Oh, oh. Amy, good to see you, girl. Amy, Melvin, what's up? It's awesome. Yes, our Lego paths have finally crossed. I know, I can't believe it's taken so long. Too long. So what dots design? Yeah, she, she's judging um, Lego so Master Season 2 as well. First would certainly so. be to Amy Corbett. It simple because you don't need to do a she's friends design, design lead. I can do simple very to well. To have a big effect. So perfect. You're going to be great with nice dots. Nice nails. Look, if I just make some simple circles like this and I repeat the pattern a lot. You, you know what? I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that it's pre-recorded, probably. Colors, mix the design up what bit. gives it away a kind of bit, is the timing of their that. graphics. Really cool. yeah, I mean, you can do it live, but it's a lot of preparation. Also, we have several colors to work with, so you can use a mix of all What set? Uh, Stephanie's house, I think the first one. Or even uh, that white one white action, facade house, cool, she designed right? it. Magical. Yes. Yeah, my, my girls love friends. So you, what you guys don't see on this channel a lot is that, well, I'm building Lego, but we have a lot of friends. My girls just love friends. And meeting her, just like, it was cool to just, you know, see the, meet the designer who made a lot of sets that my girls love. So she's tall, yeah, she's like, I'm, I'm, I'm like 5'8". <laughs> uh, she, she's very tall. Like she's flowers. like, so you, you know, when I was like, you can look up Beyond the Brick the uh, Lego Master Season and One video but when really I was there and talking to her. To have fun with it, to play around she's tall. With the and dog. Jamie, like the other Whether designer, he's uh, he's kind of like my patterns, height. Whether you got a little bit more uh, and he 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 like he ne like was next to me and she, she's taller than us. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, we're back. We're back. Whoopsie. Somebody tripped a cable. Hey, what did she say? First, we're going to go to the Tri Dots website. Okay. Great production. Multi million dollar company production, I would say. Uh oh. face. So whoopsie! I mean, at least they have a, a whoopsie screen. I'm you know. Gonna start with a red <laughs> no, it's fixed. Pizza slice. I've seen them use in like the surfer house where they spelled out the word surf. Guys, we're like 20 minutes in or 30, and like it's only about space and Lego dots. Oh, so where are these stats? With another one instead of deleting it. Yeah, I'm gonna like repeat the pattern down here, like a mirror. Is that a new software? Nice diamond there. You're using your. Did they made a Lego dots software? White. Circle. Oh my God. Really feeling like I paid for commercial. Yeah, they're kind of. So it looks like whenever you're finished, you just like <sighs> You know what? What was supposed to be more like a fun-driven cool. event. I like. I starting to feel that it's more like Some amazing build pushing shape that pushing and stuff and that here. Lego so makes. I, I get it. It's their the event. Studio, it's a please. business. They wanna sell Lego, but. It's uh, my honor to declare dot Lego House artwork live. If I could just reach it, I'm a bit short. Yes! Yeah. Steve, yeah. how you doing down there? Great. Wonderful, so, fantastic. Remember, guys, okay. head to Lego. But yeah, they're pushing a lot of products to share your designs before we'll be they even show to anything on new. Progress later on on the show, Michelle, where you at? What's happening, girl? Oh, so well, sorry, I wasn't listening. Around you, right? So I'll be handing this off so to you can, in a bit. So anybody can send a little bit of a another moment in design. Lego history. Uh, Harry Potter fans, this one's for you. 
and for me. Okay, because Harry I'm Potter, let's really go. Harry Anything Potter new? So this they year have a new marks Hermione the 20th on the table. anniversary of the release of the very first Lego Harry Potter sets. So to celebrate this video is only a hard push. They, they have the llama as a DJ. special twist on the Battle welcome. of Hogwarts. That will put two of our Harry Potter It's a bit of an advert, but anyway, you want to see the new sets, right? Lego wizardry to the test. Let's see. Hi, my name is Marcus Vesa, and I'm a Lego Harry Potter Marcus. designer. Marcus. And hey, my name up? is Georgia. I'm also a designer. And we're here today to take on this super awesome, amazing, and exciting Lego Harry Marcus Potter Marcus Vesa is a good designer. Building challenge. Let's do it, Marcus. In front of us, we have this super awesome Lego Nothing Harry Nothing new Harry set, Potter, I guess. <laughs> and we're going to go head to head to see who's the first one putting the last piece on this. Yeah, I'm you're so right. Torag videos. Not so fast. If so you think about it, Comic Con is just advertising. Business. It's a trade show. About how it is to have Mostly. The best job in the world and that it's is being hyping for Lego Harry up for stuff you're going to buy eventually or on I the show. We're gonna have it's all it is. It's just advertising. It actually might turn out if you to think be a harder task than I thought. It's cool form of advertising, but it's advertising. Ready, set, go. There is always the one piece that's missing. <laughs> no, no, no. Here. Did I say Lezo? Uh, Bessa, right? Bessa, sorry. That has to be Diagon Alley. Such an iconic location. I think it's one of the highlights of my whole career. I can second that. No, that. The, we're not expecting anything new, Harry <laughs> Potter. They've shown everything. Um, there is a new wave in, so. It's just, believe it or not, the one that we're just doing a speed right build, now, whatever. It's definitely one of my favorite moments from the movie. It's I want to see the Star Wars stuff, but it also comes with some of my most favorite minifigures. How awesome I think they could have structured like the event a bit better to like maybe. For. At this point, I'm kind of losing uh, interest, like slightly, you know. At this point, they Get should it. show something like hyping, something more exciting. What is this sound? <laughs> That's. There's no A for con. getting through this. I we should start designing one, okay, maybe, huh? Let me help you out. Help you out, buddy. What about now? I can't wait but to see what they're going to do. Isn't every Lego convention ever <laughs> an A for con? No, no. <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if you think about it. We managed to put a little portraits in the classroom books that we Oh, did. the host stream? The okay, sorry. I thought I said something wrong. I, I mispronounced his name. Yeah, I guess to I... find ourselves. Struggling it's a little cringy. Yeah, it's it, yeah. With this, that that, that sound is annoying. Okay, <laughs> whoever was editing that, it's annoying. <laughs> I'm just taking a moment to enjoy. Hey, you're not cool YouTubers. Like, this stop is doing really that. Really hard. <laughs> is this keeping kids' attention? Oh, that's, that's a good question. No, no, it's, no. The joy I'm like, windows in the frames I'm a slightly hands. losing interest, in but doors, my stupid we're gonna sit through the whole thing. <laughs> I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt uh, I think I will, yeah, re -watch because it's the Lego first year, kind anyway. of type of this stream, the so they're kind of probably again, learning as probably they go. The new wave of you know, you can always improve. I just hope this will be like uh, I hope this will be like a regular occurrence, and each event, year by year or whichever frequency they choose, being better and better and better. Nice try. So I'm I'm just I'm I'm not like hating on that. No, 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 no. It's it's like Hold the learning. Like I know what it takes to make so a production like fun? this. I gotta go now. I'll see you Shout out to house. their development team and production Seriously, team because I it takes a lot of effort. Amazing Even work, for a company Georgie. like Those this, it does take effort. Serious building skills. So, so joining us live on I the hope main stage, please better. welcome our courageous runner-up, Marcos. Yay! Marcos, I've been so I gotta get new Harry Potter sets, you, you guys. This, this section is very, very exciting. Those are so, so nice. I've heard that there are some seriously magical celebrations in store for the 20th anniversary. I wouldn't be surprised if those parts are that's live true, and they so just have pre recorded. Of course, they have pre recorded videos. So uh, that's how I did. I did a corporate event last year. And it's a fact that we have And we had a mix of in studio years, streaming <clears> and a bunch of files to upstream. So we did pre recorded content mixed with live content. And I was. I was the production. Uh, Lego and that's something I was very, the very producer special. for that stream. That's why we so, tried to this time around create uh, uh, it's, products that you know, with deliver enough preparation. This amazing experience it's and it's very much that we doable. Wanted to, but also have something extra on top. They of have it. to start somewhere. So exactly. These golden, you know, it's uh, it's a first for everything. Characters of Harry Potter. So you have Harry, Ron, you gotta start somewhere. Hermione in this minifigure form in gold because we know there should be direct to consumer Harry. Uh, big build shiny item according to things. rumors. So we have those throughout some of the sets as a little extra collectible. Yeah, and the HP chess set is pretty cool for sure. Folks, yes, 
I got the Hedwig, so Fox is a must-have. I do like those buildable um, Harry and Hermione. Those, are, those look much better in person. Roberto, welcome. Details and how you go about making these sets? What is you my know, favorite Harry Potter book or film? Team, but we're very I think Prisoner of Azkaban. Of both Lego and Harry Potter. So working in this project is truly magical for all of us to come The bottom together, of those big fixed faces is pretty janky. Hmm. I mean, I didn't again, uh, you know, see them in person, but yeah, if I look at it, I didn't watch any reviews or anything. Um, the right but yeah, you can see like the chin is kind of weird. Like yeah, you can write from this angle, Harry's lower portion of the head is kind of, you can see it's kind of weird. But also allow kids to read. But still, like I'm pressing, I would say it's impressive. Oh, this set is beautiful. So we have the, the Hogsmeade set. I have to oh, 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 the, uh, uh, connection the loss. Play set that we have over here, where we have the Honey Dukes and the three broomsticks. I know, and like the Honey Dukes, you can find Franco, you know, right? It's like a. And you have the acid did we just tune in for just a giant dogs, showcase like of sets? Ron and Harry experiment or, uh -huh. or try it on board the, train, like, the Hogwarts Express. There are and reviews and designer that, videos for those. Added, you know, uh, like I think we tuned in for some excitement, random, new stuff. Can we see something like? And they're cool. just reflecting that's new and fresh that you've seen the movies. Ron says it himself, so far that it it's has just a bunch a of giant cards showcase of the their current one. products and we wanted to bring some of that magic Not cool. of the movies into the sets and you know today I we know, right? see trailers that show new stuff of the movies show or new we see stuff so much out there that's that what we are here for surprise so we wanted in these products when you open the box you get what you see lego magazine come to life that extra <laughs> that's a good you that's a good description you're gonna get and you're gonna be hopefully surprised and you can trade well friends, let's let's we, we know there is new stuff coming we just don't know when we have this time it's just apparently it's just like 90 so minutes to two hours event so we're fine set. we're still Everyone fine has a Different I got my coffee, so I won't snooze off. Well, that's amazing. Margos, <laughs> pretty cool. take my galleons. I want all of these. I'm definitely taking them all home with me. Well, thank you so much, Marcos. Well, Everyone, you, Marcos. let's give it up for Marcos and the Harry Potter team. Oh, one last question. That's me. Oh, did stop. you finish your dots design yet? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> I got my... Ooh, right here, so. love that. Okay, okay fine. Sure you're building the giant mosaic. We get it. Well, let's check in with Melvin. What's going on with you? Well, it's like the Oscars, you're like hyped and then the night I'm turns so out to be super to boring. Now, some of you may know me as the host on the UK version of Lego Masters. Welcome back. You know the show, you know, the only thing we love as much as an incredible build is an incredible smash. So, Lego Masters fans, this one is for you. Feast your eyes on some of the most epic smash moments from Lego Masters shows all <sighs> around the world. Did you guys watch Lego Masters season two? I, I didn't watch it yet. At all. Cool. Great, now you're encouraging Lego YouTubers to smash more Lego. Oh, like that. <laughs> the packet drop like on that smash was so perfect, so he, like the, the best one was cut off. We don't want MNR to smash more sets, Lego. Please do not encourage such behavior. <laughs> he already smashed the Colosseum and the Falcon. I just don't like smashing Lego sets at all. Such a waste of money. Oh my gosh, truly smash-tastic. Oh, and for smash -tastic. Reminder oh, 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 that oh, oh, Lego oh, Masters oh, Season oh. 2 is on right now. Okay. Coming up, we have got a lot in store for you guys. We have Lego House Surprises, a super exciting build for Lego Technic fans, and we're going behind the scenes on the latest release from Ooh, Lego Wars, Ideas. Come on. Oh, but boy. first, let's see what you guys are saying on How's the, the chat doing? Okay, so Stella says... How the heck do you build a Smash Lego set in zero gravity? That is so cool. The Hashtag puns. Lego con. Love that. Love that. Thank you, Stella. Okay. Andrew says he's loving the Help Lego house dots the build. Having a digital way Dude, to build I got nothing for you. is so clever. I mean, that's amazing. 
<laughs> that is I amazing. love that. I love that as well. <laughs> and Derek says, it's I getting agree kind of with boring. Marcos saying, <laughs> being able to find the Lego piece you're looking for is an awesome superpower. Australia, <laughs> Nalanda. Power Definitely. Well. Just finished season uh, meanwhile, three. Meanwhile, Melvin in Billen says, uh, that looks like an impressive collection of beat This makes me sad. My wife has dusting okay, well, and toppled a mock and it's broken I'm pieces. Still in progress. Some pieces. All will Not be good. revealed, Melvin. Hopefully fixable. I need a little bit more time first. I want to make it awesome for you and LLAMA. All right. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a masterpiece. And speaking of masterpieces, How's this for a segue, guys? Welcome, friends, to the Lego House Great segue. Masterpiece Gallery! Guys, this is one of my favorite parts of the Lego House. We've spent a lot of time in here this week yes. because it pays a special tribute to <laughs> fans of Lego. Did you guys hear that All cringy the clap? you see in here are totally unique, original pieces made by adult Lego fans. Now, Am I being too sassy? That, how do you feel about distracting these guys? Probably. Like, I'm kind of bored. Well, you can do that, but we better play it cool. Like, I was expecting some Lego big drops Play by this House time. Hero Matthias! Oh, yes! Everyone, welcome you guys gotta go play some games. I'm gonna... So by my profession and professionalism, I have to sit through the whole you. thing. You are a legend. And be entertaining. Or try House, to be entertaining. So tell us a bit about what we have in store here because that clap right like, my clap was better you know, my, my people, stream deck clap <laughs> like me it's quite far away yeah so as you mentioned we're standing in the masterpiece gallery yeah like what and if they keep the, the whole big dinos, things at the very see, last 10 minutes one, one just to keep everybody so sitting through the whole here. thing and a lot of people ask why dinos? <laughs> that's, that's a common and strategy again, you know you do events and you like you advertise the the hyped stuff like they did and then you show the stuff at the very end so that people sit through all the and of boring then stuff build them of in the different one hour before you get to so the you point see the first you know. one is that's a common strategy unfortunately often uh, for guests refer so to i wouldn't be surprised dino. you can see it has animals all around in the Two back here clapping. <laughs> and clap, clap. Have well, 50, don't spill coffee man uh, yes oh so, so that's pretty big <laughs> then we have the system one on but thank you guys so much uh, for hanging uh, out uh, at least i hope i'm making this a little bit more manageable this time at the lego con i hope we're making we're having some here some laughs uh, that's also a pretty amazing build it have it ha actually has oh they have a crew in the back of the shirt it, yeah. so that's why they're not selling those and, uh, shirts they have lego a con a and the crew in the back the dinos here because they're actually roaring they're in pain right and do you have any guesses on why they might it's called pain? cruel and unusual punishment cream, though, but um maybe they're they're lost and sad the, the dinosaurs, the yeah. They're actually in the home I mean, it's cool and all, but I want to go to Lego House myself and see that in person, you know? Um, they are... Plus, it's not new. Like, like those dinosaurs have been in the Lego House ever since they opened them. Bricks, but it <laughs> so it's not like... This is the home of the bricks. Holy mother of packet losses. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Times two. <laughs> Who tripped the cable? Oh my god. Having two kind of... <laughs> well, how is the weather today? <laughs> Having two disconnects on an event, it's no good, man. Even I was doing the live event for the first time for the, co for the company and we only had one mishap of uh, turned off Mick through the whole event and we were streaming for two hours and they lego is even worse right now because they have two disconnects it's nice here in Pennsylvania. hey it's california we get summer uh this one is longer <laughs> this one is a bit longer <laughs> whoopsie somebody stepped for a, on a lego piece and tripped the cable cruel and unusual punishment like watching through this before the, the reveals well we're still like Hello, plug the cable back in. Hello, <laughs> how long is this? They said it's 90 minutes, but I think they're, they were running late and it uh, seems like it's gonna be two hours. So we should be done by 11. There's one more hour left in time. No backup footage. I know, right? They should have some placeholder. Catastrophe. No, honestly, for a company with unlimited money, um, this is kind of unacceptable, honestly. Um, Guys, I, I work for a 70 person company and I was running the live stream pretty much myself with like a wingman doing audio and we had no disconnection for two hours. We had one mic problem that one of the technicians did not check the mic before engaging the host. And that was the only problem we have 
for a first ever live event I did for a company myself and I learned myself and I did it from a single Mac computer using OBS and we used uh, five cameras, multiple audio sources, pre-recorded content, music, all that. And I ran it 95% perfectly. But this is, this is like, okay, let's, let's do some music. <laughs> let's wait for them to come back. This is fun. <laughs> Where's the IT guy when you need him? Coffin dance music. Should I refresh? Let me refresh. Whoa, thanks for uh, sub vector play. Appreciate it. Let's refresh. Nope, still broken. Still broken. We're waiting. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep. That's not cool. They're probably in a panic mode right now. Reboot. Have you tried? Have you tried turning off and on again? Robo Lamao. You know what? Yeah, for a multi-million dollar company, having this. Not a good look. Blow on it. <laughs> Check the cartridge. <laughs> hey. Uh, Check Lego in 20 minutes. They're gonna have a... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna apply to um, Lego Livestream Master. I think I'm a good fit. Don't you guys think? My production is pretty good. Lego, I'm doing fine. Haven't, have a, haven't had a drop stream in, in months. <laughs> no, this is entertainment. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lego... Disaster. <laughs> How is everybody else? Oh. Oh. Music is back. Hold on. That's my music playing, but I heard... I... Oh. Oh, they're just playing music now. That's their music. Okay. I'm gonna kill their audio and went for... I'm gonna kill their audio and wait for the for the video to come back. I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm looking at my screen all the time. Okay. P break. <laughs> Sick burns. <laughs> no, I. Uh, the music is back, but the stream is dead. Dead, dead. Still very dead. The music is playing though. Yeah, there is there is music, but. That's my music playing right now, but everything else is dead dead. There's a plane flying by. They'll probably upload this later. But it's all about the, the live fun, the reactions that we may not even make because we don't see anything, right? But they're revealing the guns even the 8080 right now. <laughs> Like, right, and, <laughs> how funny would it be if they just come back and like, oh, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the new Star Wars set. That's awesome. Coming in in a few months from now. Okay, bye. Like, what? what? No, Lego, hire me. I know how to stream. Come on. I've, I, I, I got a, a full corporate event in my resume right now. No, not even joking. I feel qualified to fix that, whatever that is. Russian hackers. Lego got ransomed. Like ransomware. Thank you for choosing the cool factor air travel. What? Russian hackers taking our plastic event away from us. Oh, 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 it's back. It's back are back that's right now in case you missed it here are the top so they are live do here at Lego it's, not it's not pre-recorded it's not pre-recorded okay let me kill my music so it's not pre-recorded because they they acknowledge the, the interruption This music slaps. Massive boredom overload. 
cool, yes, let's showcase more LEGO house, but let's wait for the new set that everybody's waiting for, yes, this is great. And the left hand, and the right hand, coordination. DJ. Unless it was all part of the plan, maybe. No, like at least we know it's not pre-recorded because they they acknowledge the interruption. All right, cool, very cool video. Yeah, we like we like Lego House. We really like. It. How about new sets? Oh, more packet loss. Yay. Work it. I mean. Maybe they not they is it possible they yeah. don't have good internet in Denmark? Such a modern country. We have had the most fun hanging out here at the Lego house all week. Can you teach me those I moves? I can't get over the robots in the yeah. restaurant. I'm not, I have no idea what I'm doing. Dance. I took some of their moves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay. you saw my stream. Uh, yeah. Right. Anyway. <laughs> they saw my stream. Quite... They're watching. Okay, uh, but fine. They'll be right here waiting for your next <laughs> trip to Lego house. Next up, we have a truly the dead space was scripted and a transatlantic screening of this incredible film. Now, I didn't know I was a Lego Technic fan until I saw this in rehearsals. So, Lego fans, what if they show the Titanic? Reactions for the latest incredible creation from the Lego design because they just said something transatl transatlantic. That's right. In partnership with automobile Lamborghini, it's the life size all Le we know that. Lego Technic Lamborghini CN FKP 37. This is this is old news, guys. Why? Why did they reveal this like two weeks ago? They could have shown it like right here, would be like more cool. They shown this two weeks ago. They should have kept it like not show it and show it right now on the con for the first time. That would be so much better. Oh, the packet loss. Holy mother of packet losses. Yeah, everybody saw that. We talked about it on Bricks and Coffee. I think the video is new, though. It's a, it's a cool project. Very cool, though. Right? Old news. Just showed the country. I know, right? It is cooler than the Bugatti Chiron, but I think it's not drivable as the Bugatti Chiron. Now we tried to get the full size built in the studio, but sadly we could only fit this Dude, one. Dude, like, the fix the connection, gee. Put this in my dressing room. But my Give bag, it to me. I, I my want trainers. it. They're uh, a size, but the small ones, the small black ones. Don't get it lost. Look after it. Can I have it? Thank you, Ben. I want All one. All right, so Melanie, how are you doing with the build so far? We're good. They're doing really good. If you don't need it, I mean... Uh, They'll build as fast as they can. Yeah. And the Were my so dance moves not good enough? I want so a Siam. I hope you guys get a raise for all this hard work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it doesn't <laughs> drive as the... They would show oh, it, well, right? So many awesome the Chiron is cooler right because now. it drove. We're experimenting how we can combine them all together. Does it blend? Boards before <laughs> we put them up on the wall. Oh, really? Yeah. You guys are still with the dots. I see. Okay, fine. Great ones, <laughs> loving this one by Crystal I'm getting so Rainbow sassy right now. I love that. Yeah, it's great. Huh? Where is the beach in Denmark? <laughs> Snooze fast. There's loads of coastline. Really? Can we go nice after? I'm sorry, but yeah, it's kind of is. We also have this one from Cameron in the US. I just think it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, Brickman. I really fair point. Beautiful. Yeah, we're like we're the a folds being on top of all this stuff. We know everything, yeah. so we just keep up with the news. But yeah, I I see like the. A lot of people did not see it. One. Fine, I think right? Benno in Germany is just happy to be joining us in LegoCon and getting up on the wall. They right. really want those dots to sell, aren't they? Coming in, remember, you can build, draw, or design your six. They really want the sales of dots. Dots you can show among your us. With your, uh, design team, and they'll start building as soon. Is there audio just like shifting in levels or something, or is just my headphones? Plate like That's weird. And your yeah, they have a lot to fix on the production side for sure. The part of Lego connection being works, the first cool, point. Just imagine designing a brand new Lego set that fans could actually buy and build. Well, that's exactly what could happen when you share your creations with the Lego Ideas community. So let's take a look at the again. Awesome sorry, idea. I'm not hating on this on the event. Lego is learning and they're gonna Lego get better. Ideas. Okay.
My name's Steve Guinness. Cool. And I've been a huge Lego fan since as long the as I've been. The typewriter! I decided Yay. to put my Lego Very cool set. Onto Absolutely. Lego. It's, it's amazing. It but... was great to continue to develop prototypes. How about the new the stuff? Hand crank mechanism so that it Is like this it's, uh, too much to ask to see new things right now? The Lego Ideas platform is a really supportive community. Once the idea had been approved, I was lucky enough to work together with the Lego designers. With this model, we took the fan design that Steve had made. And I gotta say, your style of stream is what this should have been. Your con is kid friendly, but this guy's what us are looking for. Thank you, Raven. Carriage at the back. Lego. Along every time you heard the guy. Team. Hire me. <laughs> I can do the streams for you. It's quite tricky to combine Technic with System. It was a really fun challenge getting it to be as functional as possible, but still have that iconic shape. That's the designer the video. It's already The final set is an advanced build, but there's nothing stopping That's basically you from re a small re edited designer video. Just like I have. This tiny little typewriter that I've designed oh, that's only cute. has about 26 pieces. I can afford that. It just goes to show that with a little bit of imagination, and a few Lego bricks, you can make anything you want. <laughs> make it a poly bag or something. Congratulations, Steve. That typewriter is incredible. Hi, oh, you're Mike. Now, Lego I like my current fans, job, but if Lego is out to me, I'm news, available. You may remember we recently <laughs> ran a contest called We Love Sports, where one lucky and super talented Lego fan stood a chance to see their creation approved for production as an official Lego idea set. Well, we had over 800 submissions from the LEGO fan community all around the world, and I can now reveal in this world-exclusive announcement okay. that the winning design is the LEGO foosball table created by fan designer what? Constructions by Donut. Everyone give it up for Donut! What? what, 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 what? Donut a foosball is a table? 16 year old Lego fan from Hungary whose biggest We're getting another idea set, is you guys. Lego bricks, and whose dream just right? came true. This set was chosen for its timeless design, its joyful We just got the, game, the lighthouse. And its ability to bring families okay, and friends together so for quality cool. game time. So, congratulations again to Donut from everyone here at the Lego House. Now, wait, wait, like, we're Lego getting a football? Game. That's it? Show? We are right now. It is the Lego World Explorer wait. area. Stop the tape. Hold. Huge, huge dioramas packed with tons of minifigure scenes. Did she just Every say we're getting another these, idea set and just like moved on? I didn't see before. I mean, just look at this. Just Let's take a look at this stadium what? here. Hundreds of minifigures, and they're like, all wh where? posed as if they're in scenes. Can we stop it's us? Incredible! I love the zombie cheerleaders in the front. We have everything here from a variety okay, of different sets. Okay, that's the first sets. cool thing. Back, uh, apparently, Lego we're getting the Lego Ideas front. foosball table. And let's see what else we have Which here. Which is awesome. We have multiple cars. Actually, think it's about super, it. It's super, super detailed. Whoever did this. You're incredibly talented. I wanna, I wanna so coming up, we up. have some awesome sustainability news, some very special Lego Minecraft guests. I gonna find and this guy. we're diving into the world of a Lego designer. But first, it's yes, time for baseball. our first live vote. We want you to tell us what you would most like to try from what you have seen so far. The options are on your web page. Just scroll down. Will it be DJing on Lego decks, giant what? build smashes, life-size building, or contributing to Lego ideas? Vote right now, and we'll be revealing the results later on. Now, I as you I can voted. see here, practically anything in the real world can be turned into a Lego build. There are like the Lego team are 50, looking to the future and how we can rebuild things ideas. for the better. I don't know which one she's talking about. In the real world, too. So, Melvin, tell us more. Now, as you know, Lego bricks are which about, one is she talking about? You know, getting creative and experimenting. Okay, I'm going to check later. build with them and rebuild with them again and again. But it doesn't need to stop there. They can even be re-gifted to friends, family, Did maybe you guys a find it? The list goes on, and that way they can continue to be played with rather than thrown away. So why shouldn't more things that okay, I'm gonna do check throw later. away have the chance but to enjoy I life? I couldn't find it. I, know, sure. I don't know which guy is well, it. Well, we think they should. So we're inviting plastic bottles to become new Lego bricks. Oh, they just announced it this week. That's, that's cool. But let's get into stuff. Come on. Could be the Ideas fine, but we need Star Wars. The, road, the bottom of the garden being made a fool of on the internet. Well, as part of the Lego group's journey to make a positive impact on planet Earth, my concern we is the bottles to join our first wave of the longevity of those bricks. Because PET plastic, plastic even recycled, it's not. A a cat. As rigid, and, uh, structurally, as the Lego ABS. Loved and reused by so I wonder how this will impact this the quality of the brick. You know?
Say goodbye to being blamed by a world that drunk you yeah, it was, it's, 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 you it's and hello also not to new life news. as a prototype brick. Bro, what is the gunship? I know Vector, right? Well, we're, we're waiting, dude. Everybody's waiting. Using uh, recycled I mean. or renewable sources. Bottles. Help Did you guys find that foosball set she mentioned? Play. Become a prototype Where is brick it? today. I'm searching Lego ideas. Yes, plastic bottles become a prototype brick today. Here to tell us more are two of the brains behind the science. Please give it up for Tim and Nelika, everybody. Like, I don't see it. Right, so Tim, this is an awesome initiative. I mean, not Making the one she's shown, not the one Lego with bricks. minifigures. I mean, why is this so important to I Lego see, like, like, you know, everyone six knows different designs, moment, but I don't see the planet, one she it's mentioned. It's super, super important. And it's okay, one of the biggest challenges mind, we have today. And in the Lego Check group, you know, we want to make a positive Thank you impact guys. on the planet. So we're doing a ton of stuff, you know, starting in our factories. We're reducing our energy use. Uh, uh, we're recycling nearly all of our waste wow. that we use in making. Lego oh, my bricks. Discord is on the main screen, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm uh, not gonna move to panels. it right now, but I'm gonna, um, then I'm gonna just keep the event on, on the screen. Packaging out of recycled materials, and you know, really importantly, we're starting to transition away from plastic bags uh, into paper bags because we know. Can't that's wait that's for the juice any longer. Sorry to hear that lunch. Yeah, I know a lot of people are waiting, and, and I, I know a lot of you guys are watching from Europe or like late at night. So I, I know it's, it's kind of tough, like sit through all this just. Wait for the news. <laughs> kind of a snooze fest. So I can eat this. So definitely don't. It's from the contest. Okay, cool. I see. Okay, I'm bricks. I'm gonna check later because my Discord is on the main screen and I'm sharing the event, so I'm not gonna check it right now. And then we've brought you plants from plants, which is what we call this. Now we're bringing you bricks from bottles. That's really cool. And that's what we've announced this week. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna check on all the things just after the event. We're gonna have a few moments of just chat. I get letters personally as well, and as does our big boss as well. And we really love it when. I'm really bored. Coffee works. You know, really. MNR 6K people watching. Wow, sometimes he's killing great. it. You've done plants from plants, sometimes challenging us as well, which is really important. And I feel I like Lego wouldn't have lower quality of the bricks. I have the feeling they must into recycling you know, plastic, uh, recycling develops some new method. That's what I'm assuming before the brick. I, I don't think the they would, so, um, you know, more letters. We love I, 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 I really so cool. support Nelica, their sustainability efforts. It's really awesome that they're doing this. Like, the upcoming paper bags and so here they are melvin yes um oh they, okay let's see yes <laughs> they look like normal lego bricks right um but they are made from recycled plastic pt bottles we can make about 10 lego bricks from uh, one plastic bottle and because we're reusing something that already exists um we can reduce the impact on the environment if they keep the and as you can see right now the, quality, the bricks that's are right. milky gray color and we're still working on making these bricks look perfect so that we can one day start using them in Lego products. But first, one of the things that we need to figure out is how to make them in different colors. Wow, and I'm guessing this is a lot harder than it might sound. Why does all this development They'll take so long? They probably have to use some sort of a, like recycled or organic yes, well, dye. Uh, we all I'm know that sure. Lego bricks I, are I, incredible no production because they're expert. super strong and long lasting. Okay. And that's why it hurts when you step on one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Any huh? new material needs to meet our standards uh, for safety and quality. I should and have a fake need to audience feel laugh the on same. my deck. They need to look great and they need to click together with other Lego bricks. We've spent the last six years looking at more than 300 different material formulations. And we're committed to finding more planet-friendly materials for our bricks. And we're excited to share more news with you about the progress we make along the way. Well, sure. Nelica and Tim, good luck to you and your team. We are all Where behind are you. the Please paper bags first? And it's Tim, been everyone. announced last year. And there's Michelle, nothing Michelle, what new yet? innovations do you have for us? Well, Melvin, we have our very first audience Q&A, that's what. But you might be wondering, who are we going to ask questions to? Well, Lego Q Minecraft fans, this one is for Where's you. Get ready to meet Lego Minecraft design manager Fred and hey, someone Fred. you might recognize from Minecraft Live chief storyteller of Mojang Studios, Lydia Winters. New plastics not as UV sensitive. What? Thank Good you question. guys. I don't know. And in the meantime, you can send in your questions for our guests using the Q&A box on your website. You guys ask the right questions. Now. I have Just no clue down. about my. In the meantime, while we're waiting for your questions, I am so excited to chat to you both. Thank you so much for being here. Would have been here. so easier if you Fred, guys streamed this on you YouTube with a chat. Amazing sets. I'm so excited to talk about this wave of Minecraft. 
So first off, we have the new horse table here. Where it Jang just revealed this one in the, the this morning. Head. We also have a, di a diamond armor horse, a baby mm, horse. He and knew. And a <laughs> well. He had insider information. Right we're gonna we show it on the Lego console. So that's why he reviewed it today. Dungeon. So you have the big brick built abomination. You have an enchanted creeper, a moss skeleton, and two new hero skins with the explorer and the archaeologist as well. That is amazing. And Lydia, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. We're so excited to chat with you. My question is, how do you guys decide what to take from Minecraft and build into a Lego set? It seems like in a sandbox game, there are endless possibilities. There really are. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm really excited to be here with all of you. Yes, when we think about what she has large we eyes next, we we're kind looking of into your soul. What we've updated in Minecraft and then also She's like very like how we this kind of like very cheerful Minecraft face world. like so we've been Almost working over on cheerful. sets with the Lego team for many, many years. And so we're always he wanting into to add that new set, things. Really. So the Ruined Portal I watched is just something the beginning, that's really exciting the because con. that just came out in the Nether update. And then to actually see it in brick form is really exciting for us. I know. And there have been so many people playing Minecraft over the past year. All of my favorite streamers have been streaming it. So it's been really awesome to see it here in person as well. And personally, I've been really loving the modern treehouse. So we want to share a bit more. Guys, with I have that no idea about Minecraft. I'm sorry. Cool. All right. How about the new stuff? Yeah, respectful comments, guys. Keep it civil. Please, no, uh, no, any type of misogyny or racism in the chat. Please, keep it civil. At all. The treehouse is horribly overpriced. Uh, well, like the Minecraft one? Cool animation though. Yeah, I I don't I don't play Minecraft. Ah nice, yes. So Come awesome. Us, guys. Fred, tell us more about the treehouse set. So the treehouse is something everybody Also does the treehouse. <laughs> build a house in a I didn't even know the point. set name. And we wanted to, to celebrate that I, with I, this. Why did I think it was called like the Lego Minecraft house? More done with a twist, you know. So the whole set is called the treehouse actually. Big trees. And the point of the set is that you can actually take all four of the units Oh out. my gosh. I don't think you know what you're saying, boss man. That's and then not cool. You have two bear trees. Or then you can recombine everything the way you want. We calculated that there is more than 60 possibilities with all four of the houses the, so to make your own um, Treehouse. That is amazing. I love that because, um, you, you know, in some sets there's one final form, but yes. in this, like you said, there are over 60. That's incredible. Yes. So um, let's see what our audience is asking. We've got a lot of questions coming in. First one How do you guys decide which bricks to use to make Lego Minecraft sets look by just force. like Minecraft in the real world? <laughs> <laughs> so when we started Lego Minecraft with uh, Easy. the team, we created a very extensive <laughs> two by two Lego with a lot of there, I answered the question. element to represent the That's Minecraft all Minecraft. Books. And we've been using this list ever since and updating it every time there is an update. So with the new Cryer Crimson wood or like the blue wood from the warp forest. That's but incredible. And already because Minecraft, you know, has that <laughs> pixelated <Easy. laughs> look, it fits so well with Lego. I, I think it's an yes. awesome collaboration. So Lydia, our next question is for you. Let's see here. Okay. So what told was my wife the to start playing Minecraft and, and see if it was cool, so like I could know about it for between Lego. Working Mojang Studios and Lego. Maybe I should start Brad playing Minecraft because people well. say it's uh, still like a lot of fun. The process has been amazing. Uh, we've worked together for so long now. I was lucky enough at the beginning to be working very closely with all the designers and with Fred. I'm actually. just not accepting any and sort of disrespectful comments in the chat. How can we and really I'm just timing out people sure for that. that. So Minecraft please keep that in mind. It's a rule of the channel. Lego it's not, you know, I'm not being picky or anything. So it's like, just like Fred was talking family about friendly the and any library. disrespectful comments to any groups of people or any forms of harassment are in the game uh, and my favorite allowed, thing is really how all of the minecraft mobs come to life <laughs> because they always right? 
all of the designers on the team really figure out a perfect uh, way to give you the feeling of the mob just like you would see it. Oh, well, we have mods, hands. don't worry. That is amazing. And asking, you know, a bit more, our next question is about the design process, actually. So what are some of the challenges? Minecraft is what a basic process. Lego video game should be. So in Minecraft, I mean, Minecraft and we know like Minecraft and Lego is just reality, so such a to, good blend of know, form and factor. This, so we it's really just a natural like connection. Like the you know, the Minecraft so blocks, so Lego bricks is just is resting on such a perfect collaboration, if you think about it. Or then we use like other techniques like it's, here on it's, the tree, uh, as you can see, there is a giant um, mass here that we plug things from the side. It's basically like a, the, the a nature born like collaboration, honestly. Game, yeah. Could have been That's a better connection between a physical because, toy you know, and so a viral videos digital on game. Of people making infinitely tall structures yes. that are impossible to recreate in real life, but now it kind of is possible. With I'm still a fan of Minecraft so sets, cool. even though I don't play the okay, game. Okay, I think we have one last question. Okay, it is if you had to choose I know, what is your favorite my pleasure, feature my on one of the new sets. Trying, trying to be to have a, like a very welcoming community. That's why I do not accept any kind well, of I'm gonna go with two. Uh, I don't want anybody <laughs> to feel really uncomfortable in my chat. That's my number uh, one rule. That we saw in the modern treehouse cuz who doesn't want to be a panda? And then also I am just loving the phantoms. Again, it's, it's just a giant. I, I mean, we knew feeling, they were going to talk about like Harry Potter and Minecraft said, and Technic, but I hoped for, you know, in, instead of terrifying. having a showcase so of sets that we already know about, which is basically a glorified That's designer amazing. video. What about you, Fred? For me, it would be the, the portal. I was expecting the portal something here. extra, Ooh. you know, the from the trade. This, they had a technic um, segment, and all the they did, they the shown the cyan life size. That's it. I I hope they would show the Ford 150 Raptor that's rumored and, and leaked, kind of. That is so cool. I hope well, for something you else, you know. Like it's just such a feels like a reheated meal. Don't Honestly. worry, there will be another Q&A coming up very soon, so get ready for that. But we have one more surprise for our LEGO Minecraft fans. We are inviting you to decide which character skin to feature in a brand new LEGO Minecraft set launching next year. You guys get to choose from three. Will it be the Ninja, what? the Warrior, or the Ranger? All you guys have to do is head on over to our Twitter page between now and Friday, July 2nd, to cast your vote. And the oh. winning skin will be announced very, very oh, soon. Oh, just a Minecraft I skin, okay. everybody behind camera is here voting. I'm definitely yeah, going to do uh, that Yeah, uh, Technic right is doing the, the Ford F-150 uh, pickup truck Raptor. It's, it's a very, very popular truck in the U.S. F-150 is like the most popular car in the yes. US so and the Raptor is just like a performance a version of the F-150. So yeah, there's going to be a technique set for that. And I can't wait to see actually maybe when... They had so much new stuff, but we're not seeing, we're just like, make it into, uh, it's so, like they like spent so much time on the current really theme exciting, of Minecraft or Harry Potter, whatever. In and they, she just like basically in between words, really she mentioned a new, brand new Lego out. idea set. Amazing. And it's just well, like move thank on, you, guys so you know. Much. Thank you, just Olivia they should spend more Fred. time Let's on the hyping the new guys. stuff instead of just showcasing the stuff we know Hi, about. Everyone. That's my biggest grief about this. Just too much of our repeated, repeated Earlier, information. Earlier we asked you guys what you have seen so far on the show that you would most like to try. Well, the votes are in, and the favorite we is... We don't know anything about the wrapper except for some image. I think some part Okay, 44% of you and the price said that the thing you'd most love to try is contributing is to just, Lego why ideas. Don't they just make it one That's amazing. <laughs> All right, well, we will have more polls coming up We don't soon. know the release date. I, I oh, think it might be August or September. News. Melvin. How's it going over there at the That's, I think, what's rumored. Michelle is just as busy over here. How is this for development? <laughs> Amy, what are the latest designs to come Lego through? Lego dots. So many good yes. ones. But I'm so many good Anton ones. You know what's not so many design. in this stream? Yes, New sets. That's not so many it's yet. Brilliant. It's just one. Okay. And Christian in Australia, total celebration of the pizza tile. Good day, so mate. Loving that. At this okay. point, you know, it's and kind of, I think it's the direction of the here. event. Here. Yes. It's made an eye for an Isaac. the segmentation is bad side, uh, from my semi-professional uh, input I would say that they should segment the stream in a way that they show something exciting because they can Melody, identify which parts are so kind of old news or number. boring <laughs> yeah, they should be able to um, identify that they should just like do I don't know, like two boring yeah, segments right hype well. excited yeah. excitement reveal 
two boring segments, new reveal, and move on. But at this point, we're going like an hour in, and there's only one kind of exciting announcement of the LEGO Ideas football, apparently. And they're just, it's the third time they're coming back to LEGO Dots. At this point, they could have shown like three new sets if they had something in, in, in the sleeve. You know. So, if I was directing this event, I would just mix it up a bit. Just keep it exciting, because right now I'm losing interest. And I know Up they're going to show new stuff. I think we all want to know okay. with all of these incredible Lego sets and amazing builds here in Lego House, what is it actually news. like to be a designer Aaron. here at Lego headquarters? So we spent an awesome day with Ellen from Amy the Lego very, Friends very team to bring you a day in the life of a Lego Friends designer. And if you have so any questions about, about Lego Friends, Lego design, or maybe even becoming a Lego designer yourself. Oh yeah, this whole year is killing my wallet. The Q&A box is on your webpage right now, so just scroll down to check it out. Send in your questions for a very special Q&A coming right up. Hi everyone, I'm Anon, and I'm a Lego Friends designer. Here's a short video and a sneak peek into the day in the life of a designer at the Lego group. So she works for Amy. One of the things I really love about my flat is all the cool artwork I have on the wall. Lots of it was made by my friends. I just asked her those several questions. Hope your, excuse me, yours gets answered. That's, this picture that's cool. here is a little sticker I made of my car. What, which one should we expect? Got this funny little cat thing here. I really like building things. And that's quite good inspiration also for my work as a Lego builder. This is actually something that me and my partner found on the street. It's a door. I hope Star Wars is next. It home, really. Cover it in magnetic paint, and then I, I think their like the retention the curve is more like. At this point, you want to do something to keep the audience uh, interested and engaged. You know, I'm kind of like. This was the first if I was I streaming made, this, guys, I probably would zone off at this point. I would probably just like. Watch Very a recap cool at this and point and, and not watch it live and it because it's kind of like I'm just sitting car. here and just waiting. And you know? It's like the Oscars, cool, Frank. So except in the Oscars, you're not really waiting for anything, just the awards. Bricks and coffee is the place for all the Lego news. Thanks, John. Morning, Beth. Yeah, or like something about the Skywalker saga, and they pushed it back again. Very cool. Okay. Ma, Very it's cool. Land. Yay. Because um, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga was not even on E3. Uh, which I, it was expected to be on E3, but it wasn't there. So, uh, unless you have one of these badges, so I, I, I would hope they would show something here, but I guess not. Really I wonder cool what's with the delay, because apparently the game was almost so ready last year, really cool stuff late last year, on, and now it's just being pushed secret. back all the time. I, used to hang out in my I don't know, guys. I, I want to play it too. And, like, of wood and build. We can just quit the stream after Star Wars. Sorry, I'm a professional. I'm gonna stay until the end. So that's really played into the job as a Lego builder and Lego designer. I couldn't watch this alone. Well, I'm glad you guys are here enjoying the watch party. Thanks for coming. I would make it through without you guys as well. So it's it's uh it's go it goes both ways. Yes. So thank you. Always figure out a way to build something. It really is funny when you see someone who's been down in the stock for a while, they come up and they just... I could just watch the highlights. Bricks bricks. Yeah, probably Lego so will post a bunch of highlight like, videos. And it's a really fun I actually talked to um, Brian last last it's last like night every and uh, he's streaming as well, I think, on Twitch right now. I, I wanna like I'm not I don't have uh, Brian's uh, stream open, but I I guess he's he's like he's making a bunch of remarks about how boring it is. <laughs> I, I bet. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we talked about we might do maybe I'm gonna invite him maybe to do a recap with me, just like a commentary recap of sorts. Hopefully, Lego, Lego posts the whole stream on their YouTube or whatever, so we can do a recap with Brian, just like comment all this. But you guys kind of see my attitude right now i'm kind of like losing interest and waiting for new stuff to show up but it's not here yet so we're still waiting even in the groups that we had yeah where the kids didn't even know each other would you be interested in a minecraft server with fans if i ever start playing minecraft or anything probably that's a good point i again i know brian is playing a lot of minecraft with with stream guests and and viewers and friends that's kind of cool uh, but he's he's a lot into gaming you know i i don't have any gaming content
and joining us live in the studio, the stars oh, of so our they... film. Give it up for Ellen and Fenella. Hello. Hello. So they gave the release date, Come December on. 21st, really. Yes. Now, Michelle so it's pushed back a whole year, I think, because the original ever. date was and December 2020. As well. So let's get straight right? into the questions. First up, Ellen, Interesting. what's it like as a fan of Lego yourself to have the sets that you created? Recap, already released products, super tall so lady. Can you imagine, like, we get the comments from the kids when the set come out. They kind of try to say it's towards AFOS, but at this point, most AFOS know about this stuff. Like everything they're showing is basically. Okay, so we have our second question. This is the third segment that's basically a product showcase. They did Minecraft, they did. Uh, Harry Potter, they did fr well, they're doing Friends now. So three so I in giant lines, segments of just product design, showcase design, that we already design, know about. We have so many you know what, like see the problem here, the structure of the event is wrong. They so should mix up some new stuff in between. Building. More okay, than that question. football set, whatever that is. Model building the only Lego design job you can do? It's, it is an event for everyone, so but the way they advertise this, Graphics, I'm not gonna like deny the fact that they advertise this sort of in a way like, hey, a falls like let's unite and watch the beers. con. Absolutely. That's kind of what it was. Yeah. Like, uh, that's the question. message I got from advertising. Do you ever get builders block or Even though it's for everyone, of course. Mm, that's a good one. I think yeah, everybody must get that. But it's a uh, like. Is this for the kids that are failing? Maybe. Go and spar with your teammates or. Go and look at the brick stock and get inspired by the different elements we have down there. Yeah, I definitely love to go into the design team and see what amazing creations are. Same to watching. Thank you. Yeah, we got 84 people team. watching. I think it was at the highest peak. Thank you, Coffee and Hand Productions, for coming over. That's awesome. Welcome. Okay, and another question from the audience. So, Lego so Friends has the a foosball range will be before or after the motorized are there any lighthouse. You'd like the Friends to explore in the future like space or the desert. Or the chicken shop. <laughs> Either way, it's not <laughs> working if it's for April or <laughs> kids. My personal favorite, we've already done it. It's well, first of all, it's, it's on a Saturday morning, so, so you're kind of, one for us to revisit, I mean, maybe? okay, uh, I'm in California, but, uh, right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, we but they try so to make it like early Saturday like US time. Exciting. So, you never so know it's kind of for like families being in house and watching as a morning show, I guess. So many secrets here at the Lego house. So in that regard, I don't think they're doing a very good question. So most of us turn to Lego building to de-stress, but this is your job. So what do you guys do in your free time? I asked Brian to actually be with me on Discord during the stream, but we decided just to go, you know, he's streaming, I'm streaming, so it'd be like kind of awkward to catch with the audience and comment live at the same time. But if we are doing this, I would say right now we'd be like, Brian, kill me, it's so boring. It would be like, Oh man, I don't know what I want to be when Let's I grow do something up. Else. Please give it up for Ellen <laughs> and Fenella, everyone. Woo! Yeah, now, as glad to have you here. Now, as all masters of spinjitsu know, no, this year marks the 10th ben, anniversary welcome. of Lego Ninjago. And we couldn't have a okay. Lego con without celebrating this decade of cool. adventures. Cool. Yes, Lego Ninjago. Showing Ninjago fans, says everybody now. Fans, the Hydra Bounty. For you. Let's take a look. 10 years of Ninjago. This year. We're celebrating the 10 year anniversary of Lego Ninjago. That's a whole decade of Master Wu. Kai, this is directed Jay, by Ashok at home, Lord, Nia, Cole, Jay, and. Did I already say Kai? 10 years of spin jitsu mastery, of epically breathtaking right. moments of action. Hey, Ninjago is cool, come on. Motorcycles and flying boats? Yeah. And ten years How about the weird looking bad guys with multiple underwater boats now? Yeah. In that time, the six fearless warriors have traveled to some incredible places. Blistering maybe that's a good time to show maybe some new sets, even though we just got a new wave. Freezing mountain kingdoms, even outer space. But in all that time, there's one place they dare Did not we ever have like space ninja sets? Until now. This or year not. we take the battle against evil to the depths of the ocean in Lego Ninjago Seabound. Did someone say water? Watching dragon? audio commentary with my take a deep kind breath, of <laughs> because we have that's some what exclusive it is. News. The watch party as I Seabound react live to, to Lego Brawl. nothing yet because there's not much to, to react right arcade. now. Don't you guys think? We've created an incredible new level and given Nia some Thank you for uh, subscribing, Ben. It's time see, to see put that. on your Appreciate scuba it. gear. 
rebuild your submarines and join us for an underwater adventure to celebrate it's kind of getting late too because um, i'm heading out to the city uh, in like hour 30 minutes but i think we're gonna be done by then who left the bath running that's right, Haha, Lego Ninjago Seabound is coming soon to the Lego Brawls gaming platform. Yeah, they shown some. I didn't really know that Lego Ninjago was in space at some point. Team, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Spud, Bam. not too hard. Oh, no sets on the table, so they cleared <laughs> I'm wearing rings, sorry. <laughs> no Ninjago sets. So now, our next guest needs no introduction, and starting this summer, his brother is joining the lineup, too. Okay. Hello, Luigi. I'm oh, Mario. it's Mario, it's me. Luigi. <laughs> Brian is like, yes, thank you. No, Brian has been having fun with Luigi set for the last month or so. I think he got it early. He's like the biggest Lego Mario fan I know, so that's why I always mention him when it comes to Mario. Hello, it's me! Boink, boink. It's like my kids playing with it, I made the same B-roll. I like how they made like a giant advertisement uh, word in the bottom. Nice. It's -a me. Brian's tripping. He knows about. Uh, he, he. I think he got all the sets uh, from Lego for Luigi lineup. He got the Bowser's airship. He got the starter pack with Luigi. Oh, you guys are watching Brian right now. He's tripping. Does he wear his Luigi outfit? I don't think he took it off for the last three days. Brian, wash yes. your Luigi outfit. You should wash it, man. Lego Mario it's not healthy. Lego Luigi in the house, everyone. Yes. <laughs> I don't think he took it off. So I'm a Lego Mario <laughs> fan for sure. He's the original guy. But now if we each have a starter course, we can play at the same time together. So that's pretty cool. Well, that works out well for the both of us, Michelle. Oh, you guys, I kind of want to go to Brian's Lego Twitch Luigi. right now. Okay. How about after the show, we team up for an epic adventure? How's well, that sound? you're going down. Yeah, should we shake on it? I've sanitized. Perfect. Wonderful. Coming Still through. to come on the show, our official reveal of a brand new Lego Star Wars set. It's Brian, gonna be I'm watching you right epic. Now. <laughs> That's right, and we take a calming look into the world of yeah, Lego Builder's his journey. And we have a Lego Technic challenge that I personally have been waiting for. I'm gonna type in his chat. But first up, it's time for another audience vote. Yes, and this time we are asking you, LLAMA, would you do the honors? What Lego stories are you enjoying most? Is it sustainable innovation? I don't have sound for Brian on, scenes, reveals, but interviews with he's Lego like, what? That's it? So that's it? That's it? That's all you get to say? That's all it is? Yeah. <laughs> I can see his face expressions. He's not, he's not happy. So much great information. How about you, LLAMA? Oh my god. Video push. Right. Here not we go. <laughs> Life just doesn't stop. Okay, right, you can answer in the poll just here. I don't think Brian's very happy. Homepage. Just scroll down, I see his guys, stream right now. We'll reveal the results later on. Now, let's find out what you guys think of what you have seen so far. All right. So, Derek says, that's how you hashtag rebuild the world, turning plastic water bottles into Lego bricks. I love that. Yeah, that's really nice. Why, okay. I wasn't paying attention. Gianni what did in I do? Wales has oh my god! Two I'm sorry. Masters enjoying watching Lego Con in Denmark instead of watching Wales versus Denmark. I didn't pay attention. Oh. That's what we want to hear. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and <Honestly>. Jay <laughs> is really digging our Lego Con coffee table. I have to agree. Nice. I don't know if you guys have noticed this whole thing is built out of wasn't paying attention. Stunned. Can we keep that afterwards? <sighs> we just take it. We just no we just take it apart and can It'll put it in our fine, suitcases yeah. along with the dinosaurs Definitely. and everything else. Great, great, great. <laughs> well, thank you so much, DJ LLAMA. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So next up. On oh, okay. That's it. I was watching at Brian. I was looking at Brian's. Now the Q and A box is just down here on your homepage. You distracted so me. In your questions right about now. It is live, guys. Okay, okay, Star Wars. First, okay, I didn't miss it. The moment that I you I Lego it. Star Wars, the Mandalorian fans might okay. have been waiting for. Yes. It's time for the official reveal of a very special brand new set. And okay. What? Here it is. Uh, oh. Oh. Um, sorry, give us a second. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Are they saying? That, was that supposed to happen? I, uh. Did we go offline again? Okay, stop with the cringe.
Okay. Oh, cool, Ahsoka, yeah. Oh. You guys didn't pay too much for the costumes, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool force use, yes. What is it? Oh, that's the Moff Gideon's cruiser, isn't it? That's it? What is it? Moff Gideon's cruiser. Oh, we saw... Okay, it was leaked. It's the Moff Gideon's cruiser. That's it. That was leaked, by the way. That's it? Let's hear it for Michael and the new LEGO Star Wars Imperial Light Cruiser! <laughs> What an epic intro! <laughs> Where's the gunship, yo? Yes, my Yes, my oh. Woo! Swing that in! <laughs> what do you think, Thank fans? You. Let's see those emoji reactions. That's it? Come on! Oh my gosh, Michael, we have been so excited about this segment. This is such a cool set. I'm not cool happy. Set. And it looks Where's like the gunship, I'm not man? the only one who thinks so, based on our audience reactions we're getting right you now. You guys, so can you take us through some such of a missed features? opportunity. Absolutely. Oh my well, as God. You can see, it's instantly recognizable as the Star Wars ship. It's not quite <laughs> as big as a <laughs> Star Destroyer, but I'm it is big at and it has three face. huge engines. He's <laughs> like, lots of power. But yet the size this is so much funnier without the sound. He's and like this built-in handle, all the swoosh ability you can imagine. Yeah. I guess he's sharing it's my feelings. <laughs> yeah. I have his, I have his Twitch stream huge open. Huge turrets here, four inbuilt. That's it? Wow, rockets! Yo, where's the? <laughs> we I, can open the I mean, it's a cool set, here. but so we've got um, easy access to the detailed oh, I interior. Love where's the gunship, yo? And then we've got an awesome lineup of figures, so you can uh, play the uh, scene out. They. The, from the film this is like the cool. best moment and they the could have shown the gunship like not. there couldn't be a better moment unless they really do like a second fight. live stream just for so Star Wars or whatever this was the Place best the moment they could have shown it hopefully they will still show it in this show incredible. but I I'm 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 losing that my so hope cool. right now but Michael what were the challenging parts of designing a set like this man it's like well, a big I mean, <laughs> everything we design in Lego uh, is challenging because uh, oh, some things man. are easier and some things are more challenging due, due, due to the shape of the bricks. Mm. But uh, we always go for the shape of the ship. That's the, the key thing. The next thing we have to do is try and put some functionality into that. So as many play features as possible. If that's not enough, then stability is an issue. We need to keep that model stable during, while we're building it so it doesn't fall apart when we build the model. And as, uh, after we're finished, when it's done, we want to be able to play with it mm. and have a great time. So. Now I've got to say I love the child and he's wiggling ears. That was so I'm sad. Yeah, really well, cool. You that, guys, that if you can fun. tell. And uh, definitely those uh, features are I'm so sad. important if you want I, to I thought it would be the gunship of a character like that. And Lego bricks aren't exactly the easiest thing to work with when you're trying to do something. Well, we're going to have to wait a bit more. Uh, in that I way. Mean, but um, I'm really happy with the result. Such, it's and, such I mean, a missed uh, opportunity, the Lego. Reactions from the fans they had the Slave 1 on the table, it, though, it but it was well. kind of revealed, too. Incredible. And your team has two more Lego, the Star Wars, the Mandalorian sets coming out, right? Absolutely. Okay, Let's yeah, see. they're on the table, though. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes they're right there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Show it, whatever, just get it over with. Go. Oh, so just pull, I pull the, the gunship from the behind of the couch or something. Okay. Like, I don't know. Now, this just one, save the event. Figure, save the moment, Arga, please. Some, uh, super cool storm save it. Make it better. Brand new artillery storm is called. And then there are all kinds of places. So this was the best this, uh, moment they could have used up. for that gunship, man. So the stormtroopers can be inside, front, back. But. Apparently, if the gunship's the detail, pictures yeah. are kind of and then you can, uh, somewhere, the apparently by the rumors, the front, it might be the, the case again, that it's going to be shown functions. just in a few days or something. But this could have been the best projectors. showcase <laughs> or the <laughs> best review they could have done. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a rumor, yeah. We've got another one here. Uh -huh. I'll grab this one. Maybe I had this unrealistic is. expectations. Maybe I did. Boba Fitz Starship. I'm usually not over hyped for events like this, that. but... Incredible. I was it expecting is. the guns to be And shown. the features of this one, I mean, well, we've got a great lineup of figures. We've got Boba Fett, and we've got the Man Mandalorian right. himself. Yes. And then the ship. Um, Ninety percent said it's wings. yes, it's cringe. Okay. So when the ship flies. You guys think that Lego is kind of disconnected this from yes. Aphos, mm -hmm. even though and they're doing Aphos sets right of now, and we have got maybe they are disconnected of shooting functions on again. what we expect of from course. them. Maybe there is a little compartment here for the. Yeah, you guys are not happy as well. Carbonite block. 
<laughs> and on the bottom here, we've got a built-in handle. Fold that out. And I'm then just looking again, at Brian's uh, expressions. Swoosh. <laughs> more swooshy. I don't think he's very content swooshy. with the event. Last as well. but not least, this service cart doubles as a display stand. The first Lego con, and this is it. So you can yeah, I, I don't model. care about the production exactly. issues or so some. Cool, by man. the way, it's better right now. now I think they fixed their connection. But, long, Michael, but I, think we need I don't care about the production quality. I just care about the content. And I don't think it was a good event. A Lego Star Wars set. Where do you start? Yeah. Well, I think that every designer has his own unique approach. And they approach. said exclusive uh, set reveals. Usually we start with what we call a sketch. So far, I Sketching think this is Lego what they consider the uh, only exclusive set reveal at this point. That, that foosball like that idea direction. set was kind of in between the lines. It wasn't even like that highlighted. Build, rebuild, um, uh, test multiple I don't think there's anything else uh, left build it both in the pockets. Build it with 3D software that was supposed to be the big reveal, we and that's it. Like scale and, uh, Which makes me very disappointed. If um, we dial up on scale and functionality, we lesson often, learned: uh, don't get your expectations up, even though be, uh, the really rumors are uh, super good. There were a lot of good rumors for this event. But every designer has lesson learned: do not get your expectations up unless you're going to end up disappointed. I mean, unless you want to end up. Being us disappointed. Creating these uh, amazing vehicles. Uh, that's what happened. That's amazing. So, what makes Just the flopped. Boba Fett starship different Man. from the previous versions? Well, I don't want to call really it like a waste of a Saturday. Uh, not but only did I get to work on this one, but I also got to work on the previous version, and that was part of. You know what? I, what I was expecting the, is to the for the event to finish, like and I was like, and, "Wow, that was uh, so cool!" And I, I, I wanted to like live. So in the glory of this event for the remainder of this Saturday, for this weekend. Scale. I was like, I and, wanted to wake um, up tomorrow like, uh, man, this cool set is coming out. Wow, they, they, they did such a good sure job that, showing this. Before, but after all this, I'm just going to be like, wow, well, that was a flop. When we're building and when we're playing. That was like so that a was a unmet uh, expectations event. So yeah, I'm going to be disappointed for the remainder of the weekend if they don't show anything else than this. Also a wish and we managed to get it in. Just so a pre bricks and coffee. Oh my God, to, we're doing bricks and coffee tomorrow. I'm gonna be so sassy on this. Well, we have had a long I don't want to repeat myself too much the, tomorrow on uh, bricks and coffee, but you guys will and, probably uh, can guess my attitude at this point. With them, and they work we're gonna with us, um, just every step of the way deciding on which tear this event to pieces on bricks and coffee. So make sure I mean, we're doing this context. right now, live. Uh, but no detail is uh, left unturned. Every I've been enjoying this, but I'm glad you guys enjoyed my commentary and my watch party. Yeah, has to be. Well, Michael, at least I can vent live as and get today, that steam so a bit off, you know. Someone who's such a big fan of the property, bringing it to life in the Lego world. It's a cool set, true. but. And judging by the comments and reactions we're getting right now, I think you've even recruited a few new Lego Star Wars I fans so. today. Really? So get up, Are you sure up about Michael, that? Yeah. Are you watching the correct comments? <laughs> okay, so we're taking you from serious excitement. Have you seen the Where is the Gunship comment, perhaps posted a million <sighs> times? Is a, a million voices screamed in unity on where is the gunship right now? And the story behind the video game's creation is just as beautiful. Take a look at this. It's a cool game. It's a beautiful game. I want to play this game on a stream. It's a I think it's available a on Steam. Called Build right this journey. I think I'm gonna buy this game and Why play that it with you guys. I, I, it's I like because life. I want to build it. It's just a, such a beautiful looking game. Finding out who we are or learning to accept. But you need the graphics card with RTX. And achieving what we want Ray to tracing. achieve. And the play helps us ask ourselves questions. I like your sassiness. This out. I mean, I'm, tr I'm, I'm just being real, you guys. I'm sorry if I'm coming out too sassy. A son and a dad. But in a series I'm of not very much satisfied with this event, honestly, and I want to voice voice it Taking in a way. All kind <laughs> and I'm trying to like, you to know, laugh through tears. <laughs> kind of. It's designed if you think to be about a break. It. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not going to else. cry on this, but I was expecting a little bit more. Of a little bit more. Progress, and I've never been afraid it's to only one and a half hours again. long, really? And the craft behind the storyline, visuals, music, This game is just, sound, you, can, you can finish it in like under two hours? All comes together to leave the player... Yeah, I'm not apologizing. Uh, it's just like Maybe my sassiness is kind of genuine because that's how I feel. Uh, and usually when I feel like disappointed, I try to make a joke out of it. Guys, check this out. This is one of my favorite parts of Lego House is the character Create a Zone. 
Melvin, there are so many Is there anything else left like in this thousands event? Of them. Or it seems like you done? could create anything. Well, do you mind if I get a little bit of appreciated. Sure. Thanks, John. Okay, well, while he's um, doing that, I want to check in with you I mean, I'm going to stick to the whole thing, but Let I'm afraid that here. was that was the big reveal. <sighs> okay. So the cloud Lego was heavy, but there was no rain. LegoCon is as amazing as they finally found something the whole I'm family can watch true, together. Franco. Hashtag that's LegoCon. It. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can see well, my you can see my yet, face so right keep now. Keep your it's, comments and reactions. Incoming. I'm face palming right, right now. I'm like, I'm done. What do you think of that? I think that was. I love that. Is that the face of disappointment? Hair. That's amazing. Yeah. Of unmet <laughs> you know what? expectations. I think really look great. Shh. Uh, Don't tell them about my final secret. Oh, my big surprise. Sorry about that. It's not that. time for that. It's not time. But it is time for us to reveal what you guys said in our latest poll. The Lego design okay, team for the gunship so, did so say what Lego stories you're that there's the going to be a big update this summer on the set. It was a close so call. So I'm expecting there's going to the be... The answer um, with the most votes is... 52% of you guys said you'd love to see even more you. behind the scenes reveal. Uh, no funny bone, thank you for subbing. Cool. I'm not surprised about that. Hello. That is impressive. Now, building with Lego Technics is all tomorrow. about building for real. That means I'm going to have a good night's sleep. Maybe I'm going to get less sassy. All shapes and sizes but, from iconic um, supercars like the Lamborghini Scion we saw earlier to mighty construction machines. And when it comes to construction machines, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Answer for <laughs> what? The Lego Technic designers, together with our partners at Volvo, are an unbeatable force. Oh, Luigi, um, the the I Lego think League it's August. I'm not sure. But before we watch, do not, not sure. try this I at think home. it's August. I didn't check the date, sorry. I mean, there are Lisa? reviews hey, out right now from Lego Land people. What are we doing here? I have no idea. Oh, okay, something but new. Have you seen the left? Volvo? Volvo? That's a very good yeah. okay. So the Luigi stuff is being reviewed on YouTube as we speak, and but I think it's gonna be launched. I don't know, ask Brian. I don't know, dude. I didn't check the date. No. Come on. I think it's. I don't know. Chat. Where is the Luigi stuff coming? July, August. When is it? Probably August. Your mission, transport a delicate cargo to the finish line. Oh, it's just like a technique this is challenge. This is great. Thank Look you, Kamran. Oh, rough terrain. Sam. Yeah, dude, we're all disappointed here. Like, we thought there would be more stuff shown on the Lego con, but apparently... Oh, that's gonna be a tough race. Let's just say expectations were not met. Who will win? We just know about the Moff Gideon set that was kind of known for... Uh, before. Really? <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm. I'm taking the lead, Frida. Sam, I'm right I'm behind you. The lead. Probably August. Uh -huh. August first, new Mario stuff. There you go. No! <laughs> Going saving. Uh, that's true, Thor. Like, you know what? Yeah, that's a good point, actually, you're making. Um, if there were no LEGO leaks, then yes, we would be seeing some nice stuff right now. But because LEGO cannot, for some reason, control the internets and their own channels sometimes... Our, our curse is that we, as the A4 community on YouTube, we're kind of... We're ex exposed to leaks a lot because you just watch YouTube videos, you're just on the internet, you're on social media. You're gonna see leaks, or you're actively looking for leaks. You wanna see that stuff. That was that was that's why Lego was kind of trying to crack down on that leaks and like punching the Lego land members in, in return, even though it didn't help with leaks at all. But you're right. If there were no leaks, we would see them off Gideon for the first time on the stream, and that would be cool, right? But because we know about that, it's fight. it's the impact is much yes. less severe. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, How can I upload my dot creation, Gabriela? Um, I don't know. You gotta probably go to LegoCon slash LegoCon, and there probably should be some instructions. I didn't check during the stream, so I know they're allowing that. So probably just go to their official website and check it out, or maybe their their Twitter. It was so close, but I won. Cringe, yes, but this is clear. Congratulations. Thank you so um, much. You! Absolutely love Lego Luigi. My Mario figure is broken. Ben, keep the Volvo safe for me, yeah? 
in my room. Nice. Just hide it underneath the chair. No new Lego no Technic sets, that. unfortunately. Ah, and congratulations to Sam, our challenge winner. How close was that finish? So close. So close. And nice work. And speaking of nice work, it's time for our final check-in. One mile per Lego year. House. The Lego Life Jello wasted. Melanie. It looks like you guys have been busy. How's it we going? We sure have. We've yeah. been uh, very So it's busy like this kind of like they're doing the, the Lego audience. Dots thing in the background of very the stream awesome design, just to like have something to we cut back to. For 4,533. Brian is yes, looking uh, like yeah. he's on his stream. Exactly. Like. exactly. Thank you very much. And when Amy, does this uh, end? a few last favorites before we go. <gasps> Yes, I mean, I'm loving Mia from England's mm -hmm. design here because it's so <laughs> detailed and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheer him up. And then Jude and Oliver over here from the USA, they've gone bold and they've used only one color. And That's I think it cool. looks really cool, just yeah. like we thought it would. And then we've got Petrus from South Africa yes, here. Petrus. Beautiful. <laughs> I mean, Brian's child design, right now. Yeah, yeah, we're loving it in South Africa, man. Yeah, and then Sophie from USA, just super creative. I mean, mind-blowing how many awesome designs i know i'm feeling super inspired and i cannot wait to see them go on the wall yeah. because they're gonna look awesome so different love that now melanie can you remind us when this wall will be complete yes our reveal will be on september the third <laughs> but okay. at this rate it really could be very soon yeah <laughs> all right and remember guys keep sending in your designs online until august the 15th by visiting legohouse.com forward slash dots our finished mural will be revealed <laughs> on september the 3rd i'm just trying to cheer up brian i, I see his face expression on our digital plaque <laughs> for future visitors to see right here now guys it's uh, i can't hear so him though because i have so his audience in a historic part of lego house history just giving Give him some extra viewership you know house team. Dot lego house. Dot yeah lego yeah house. where lego is the gun ship where is the gun ship yo right, yo Michelle, it feels like we're wrapping up over here just to warn you i'm not good with goodbyes <laughs> Maybe Same I should call Brian Melvin. after the, after the stream to just cheer him up. This has been <laughs> one of the most fun experiences ever. Uh, yes, I, I, it is time to say a huge thank you to all of our incredible guests, uh, to our amazing uh, AFL contributors, to our talented Lego designers, can, can I, to our awesome crew, and the many, many people the contrary, behind though. the scenes who have made this show possible. <laughs> but most of all, we want to say thank you to you. That's it. That's it, you guys. Our fantastic Lego fans. You, That's it. your passions and your endless creativity. You're the reason why yeah. everyone here does what they do. Isn't okay. that right, guys? Have fun. No gunship though, you guys. But most of all, you have gunship made history is by crying being a right now. the first ever Lego Con! Yay! And you can keep watching, reliving, and sharing your favorite moments after the show at lego.com. My favorite moment is Con. that no Lego show Con of the UCS Gunship. Thank you very much. to enjoy on the Lego Life app, so be sure to download that right now. Now, L-L-A-M-A, how you doing over there? Okay, doing great. <laughs> it's almost time for your headlines. Is the llama the highlight the of the show? The first, we've got is the llama the highlight? Is this really the highlight? Okay, guys, how video fans, how can this one is so for low? you. Hot off the success the of the first is the highlight, studio guys. drops. L-L-A-M-A is going on tour. Cool, <laughs> yeah. The world-renowned oh, fuzzy man. friend DJ will be performing at Lego Video Music Fest, yeah, yeah, coming yeah, soon to yeah, five Lego yeah, Land parks yeah, all around the world. This is just too good of a sound not to use right now. Find out more at legoland.com forward slash video. Oh, Melvin. Hey. I feel like I've been on tour myself getting back here on time. I was just <laughs> sleeping. Now, what just happened? Hey, you didn't miss much, John. You promised me to go on those decks. Are you ready to show me <laughs> what you're made of, man? No. That's my. Oh, yes. Michelle, your secret That's build. It. What's going on? Surely it's time now. It's time for my big surprise. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Everyone, get ready for a live yeah, look Jason, at you're right. the new Lego Video it's Boombox. Like the wow. format is like what you would expect. Yes. So yes. cute. Really cute. Want to make sure you guys the get content, a content at was this. lacking. I, I mean, I, I hope so for well more, built. honestly. But just like any but great yeah, it looked set, like any other con with programming and panels. So That's true. Right here, but wow. turn to the side and uh, uh, unfortunately, the content was mostly advertising current Lego lineup. Of course. And that's so it, cute. repeating no, everything that was shown in the designer right. videos and reveals. Okay. And so the we've just two small announcements. Experience is that the boom that's box not a lot actually for a pairs event. with your smartphone. So, Pete, come on in. I'll let you do the honors. We'll scan it into the app and... Oh, pushing video, right. Okay, we're out. Okay. DJ, spin that track. Oh. We're pushing video, yay, we're pushing video, okay, because video is not sending at all, we gotta push it on the LEGO con, yay. Oh. 
Bingo Club Dance Party. To 2022 Lego come to be better. I have seen that show, I would say. From everyone here, thank you for being a part of LegoCon 2021. And here's to LegoCon 2022. Yeah! Okay. Yeah. Make it better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes! Okay, the last pun of the day. Oh boy, uh, how do I collect my thoughts on this? No, not 2022. I want my time back. If that was like a ticketed event, I would, I would want my money back, you guys. All right, I think that's it. I think that is it. No gunship. You can see my face. It's like mixed feelings, you know. Uh, yeah, I guess we can close this page. Okay. Wow. <laughs> How is the chat doing? You guys still alive? <clears throat> Get my music up. Oh boy. I don't know. I think we're gonna just summarize it tomorrow at the Bricks and Coffee. Um, there's some news we're gonna talk about on top of LegoCon, but man, this was so underperforming. Holy smokes. Like overall impression, under under deliver. We're in the end game now. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching, really. We had we had really good viewership today, so I appreciate it. Wow, it dropped to 35 people right now from 84 people. Oh, 52 people. Okay, so we, we had some drops, but I don't blame you guys. I don't blame you. I tried to be funny, but I was losing my energy as we were going. Cause, sorry, if I'm not excited, it's hard to be energetic. <laughs> nah, it's over now. Okay. Um, but I appreciate you guys have pushed the stream to about 85 people, I think. Well, that was pretty nice. Thank you. Um, Vladimir, joining at the end. Or you are just lurking? The host is so annoying. Uh, I think she's a YouTuber or something. I, I think she, she was fine. The hosts were okay. They just didn't have much to work with. That's that's it, you guys. It's not the hosts. The hosts were fine. They just didn't have much to work with, I'm afraid. The content was lacking. It's not the hosts. She was trying to hype it up more than it was. I, I don't blame her. She was trying to just make it fun, which would, it really wasn't as you know i don't quite know what to say that's exactly how i'm feeling sk uh, skirting board films yeah uh let's see let's see that uh you guys share that foosball table on my discord let's see i'm gonna pop this open oh so that was the love spot okay so that's what confused me that was the love for sports uh contest i see thank you guys for clarifying Oh, I see. So that's the thing. Uh, can I share the screen again? Boop. That's the thingy. Okay. Um, so I would say it's... So that's like... Uh, I, I, I didn't catch it. So that's like this event that we are getting the Stratocaster guitar. That was like a music event contest. Um, and this is like a sports contest. So this is will be a set. All right. 
Okay, so that's why I that's why I didn't see it in the general Lego Ideas projects. I see it. I mean, it's gonna be playable and pretty cool, I would say. So that was like what that was <laughs> that was that was the big reveal, honestly. That was the bigger reveal than Star Wars. It's so sad. F in the chat. I mean, this is a good set, but it's it was better than than what we were expecting. <laughs> Uh, that's what was expected from the event. It was the best reveal. And there was like, it, it only took them 30 seconds to like reveal it and that's it. Oh my God. Okay, so con who was the designer? Um, Donut. Constructions by Donut. Congrats. It's a cool set. It's gonna be fun little playable set for sure. Congratulations, I would say. Yeah, this is nice. No need for LegoCon, right? Marco, I'm, you're right. You guys, I think we can all agree that it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a disappointment. Um, I was hoping to live by the hype for the rest of the weekend to like, oh man, this gunship, this gunship is so cool. I'm so ready to spend $350. I'm so ready. Well, that money is staying in my wallet for now because there was no gunship reveal. It was just part of the con, Robo, so yeah, they could have revealed it like elsewhere, but it's so sad to say that this was the highlight of the of the event. That Moff Gideon's cruiser would have been a highlight if it wasn't for the leaks, so I will agree with that. Because of the leaks, we knew about the, exi the existence of this set, we knew about the catalog that basically... The Japanese catalog leaked and it's shown everything. It's shown the, the cruiser, it's shown the... That was like the official LEGO leak. Their, their, their LEGO is the ones to blame for that for the lackluster reveal because that was their catalog leaking from Japan the catalog showed the, the slave one shown the the imperial troop transporter shown the the Gideon cruiser it's shown that's why we know about it it wasn't like some random Instagram account so they they killed their own egg dumpster fire maybe not like a full-blown dumpster fire but kind of like a maybe a trash can fire over all that event. Uh, they had production pr problems, they had connection issues. And on top of that, lack of content. It leaked in Germany? I'm not I'm not I'm not aware of that. I just knew about the Japan leak. Alright. Is Brian still streaming? Oh he's commenting. He's doing a, a, a post after party. You guys, yeah, so I'm gonna, what time is it? I'm gonna head out, get some breakfast. Um, glad you guys have been able to hang out with me. I appreciate that very much. We're gonna talk about this more uh, tomorrow morning on Bricks and Coffee. I'm gonna have to process that a little bit. Maybe like note some highlights. There's, it's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy for Lego people because there's not much to note. There's gonna be so much hate for this event in the community. I, I don't even wanna check YouTube right now. I don't even wanna check YouTube. I don't even wanna check other streamers right now because everybody is just so disappointed. Right? I don't even wanna check the videos today. Everybody will be just like, just dumping on that event. Thanks for making this bearable, Mike. Thank you for coming. You Again, it goes both ways. I try to be entertaining and try to be maybe a little bit sassy. I, I had a good reason for it, right? There was a lot of non-content to be sassy about <laughs> and their cringy approach. But it goes both ways. You guys made it bearable for me because the chat was awesome today. Thank you so much, chat. Big shouts for my chat. You guys deserve a uh, recognition because it was really fun to watch with you and comment and hear the comments and uh, and I tried my best to to comment and and you know try to build some hype around it. Thank you. You made it at least someone entertainment. Thank you. <laughs> I tried. Uh, a lot of filler content. I didn't like the fact that they they used big uh, big segments to to highlight, to basically showcase their current product. It's, they try to hide it by inviting the designers to the table and all that, but it's all the same. There's a flame again. I have an airport nearby. 
uh, it was all the same thing we we've seen in designer videos and all the reviews. It wa it wasn't fresh whatsoever. From the advertising, I could have sworn that I was expecting some fresh content, some you know cool takeaways to remember for the night and all that. And in the end, we ended up having just a bunch of showcase content, you know, something that we already know about. And majority, of course, from official reveals. It wasn't like the only leaked thing that we knew about was the Giddens cruiser. Um, but I think the guy, Lego has to like look at it like critically and maybe listen to the community what the comments will say. Because she was kind of disconnected at the end. She was like, ooh, coming all these comments. I guess you guys are so excited for what we just provided. Like, nah, are you sure about that? So I hope they're gonna like take the real commentary like us here and use that to improve for the next one. Cause the lesson is that don't build up, don't build up expectations if you cannot deliver, you know. I liked it. Thanks, Sai. I mean, you like the con or my stream? <laughs> clap, clap, clap. It was very fun to hang out with you guys. I don't think it was a time wasted just because you guys were here and we just like, were hanging out together. I had my coffee, which tasted pretty good today. The good brew. I, I enjoyed it. So it was very bearable with you guys. More than bearable. It was, it, it was enjoyable for me. Even though some parts were kind of like lengthy, but that's not, that's, that, that's not on you. That's on the Lego. That's on the con. That was kind of weirdly structured. And I, as I said, they should have mixed things up. But it's, it seems like in the end, they just didn't have much to show. So there was no reason or no way to mix it up at all. Because there was not much to show again. Yeah. Honestly, maybe they should do this event maybe twice a year. Not like... I, I don't think it's it was good enough to make it like, Ooh, let's see each other on LegoCon 2022. I'm gonna... We're gonna... No, stream the LEGO Con 2022, obviously. But I think they should make it a bit more frequent to like make up for that bad taste. Quite a few laughs. Thanks, John. I I'm glad you enjoyed it. I try to be funny, which doesn't work always. All right. Like Mike's commentary. The Giddens Cru uh, Don't get me wrong. The Giddens Cruiser is a good set. It's just that the, the reveal was lackluster because... We were expecting the gunship, obviously, and we knew about the existence of this set, and we knew how it looked like. Most of us did, actually. So that's why the whole thing was like, you're like, it's like, it's here, it's here. Oh, it's it's not that what I was expecting. So, you know, the whole moment was blown. It's just, the whole, the set is good itself. It's like, it's a good set. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. It's a fun set to have. But the whole moment was just like, oh, really? You know, that, that's that's the problem. That's, the, the set is not a problem. The, the way they handled it is the problem. I would like to know what a casual fan of LEGO thought of it. I'm a casual fan of LEGO. There, because I have a channel doesn't mean I'm not a casual fan of LEGO. I'm a pretty casual fan of LEGO. I'm not a, like a huge avid collector. I know a little bit more about LEGO because that's my hobby and I get to share that with you on a regular basis. But I, I would call, consider, consider myself a regular fan of LEGO, so for me, this event wa was lackluster. Yeah, yeah. If we didn't know about this set, that would have been cool, I, I get you. But it was probably like 70% less cool because of that. You are not a casual fan of LEGO? Probably more than that. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What? Okay, I, I gotta go. I think there is uh, a... <laughs> there is stuff. Uh, my wife asked me when, when I'm finishing. Um, yes, I'm gonna say my goodbyes. Yeah, you may be right. I, I may be more than a casual fan of LEGO. Maybe you're right, actually. I, I should I should clarify that. Yeah, you, you guys you guys see me more than that, absolutely. So I'm, I am biased, okay? I am biased. Yeah, because a casual fan of LEGO would be like a guy who doesn't watch YouTube 24-7, who doesn't run a channel, who doesn't have a, a room mostly for LEGO, right? So yeah, anybody with a full LEGO room probably is not a casual fan of LEGO. Maybe we should like redefine that, that term. You're right. All right, you guys, thank you so much, Julius. Thank you, Jason. All of you in the chat, Brick Star Wars boy, everybody, skirting, skirting board films. Thank you, Nathan Bricks, for that little super chat in the beginning. Appreciate it. All the members, John, Raven, Saul, everybody that I, if I don't mention anybody, I'm sorry, there's like a long chat. You guys were very active today. Aaron, thank you. Marco, all you guys, Embrix, everybody. Uh, generally speaking, everybody in the chat, thank you so much for coming over. 
Uh, see you on Bricks and Coffee tomorrow, 9 a.m., the normal time. I'm going to be there, and uh, we're going to probably chat up more about this whole thing, all right? Love you guys all. Talk soon. Peace out. Goodbye. And don't lose your sleep over it. It was just a Lego con. It was fun. Just coming back for the super chat. Thank you, Raven, for the Fiverr coffee, coffee money, for, money tomorrow. for tomorrow. <laughs> I just saw that. I can't leave that without commentary. And thank you. So thank you. I'm really heading out right now. Have a goodbye. Uh, and uh, see you tomorrow. All right. Bye.